Oh, snap. There's hot beer. Merchmethod.com slash Tom Segura. Check out all our new stuff. Ooh. (laughs) This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva. Big news here. There's a new offer. Go to Sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash Y-M-H and get $225 off your purchase. Go now. S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash YMH and get a new mattress. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. Hello and good morning. Welcome to another episode of your mom's house podcast. I hope you're not exhausted from getting butt fucked all weekend. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? Well, you know, the, we just keep on running into these issues where we say big naughty words in the first opening 30 seconds of the show and then YouTube doesn't like that. Okay. But, you but. know, sometimes uh, we go by the radar. I think the last episode did fine. So, you know what? Just do what feels right. Do well, what feels it right. Well, it feels right to talk about butt fucking because Tom and I are, we don't do it in our private lives, but we're really thinking about other people's lives yeah. butt fucking. And, and, and it's and important also to note about YouTube. Uh, you know. YouTube is trying to fuck our shit. <laughs> like that. We got to do that. Feel me? <laughs> yes, mom. <laughs> feel me she always checks us out on youtube and she's like it seems like they're trying to mess with you is that right yeah, yeah. oh wow so you know people get upset about youtube all the time about them de- demonetizing yes or, yeah 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 it's very upsetting especially when we're putting out the most important content in the world this is basically <laughs> where to seek your election coverage <laughs> You want to know what's going on <laughs> in the world, in the news, yeah. with COVID, with the American presidency, <laughs> with uh, the global eco- economic uh, impact of all this. This is the show for you. This is a show. We cover all the most important current events. Yeah, if you're new to this podcast, buckle up <laughs> for real information. Real news. This is where it happens. <laughs> Um, there is so much to get into, uh, oh. in this episode, oh. some good, some bad, some really sad, but, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hopefully oh boy. we'll balance it out. Um, it has been quite a whirlwind as they say, a whirlwind of, uh, ugh, uh, of emotions. Some people say whirlwind. Uh, some people do. <laughs> some people don't graduate middle school. <laughs> some people go to a library. Yeah. Uh, but it has been quite a whirlwind of emotions for us in the last week. So many things have happened. It feels like the world is crashing down on us. It feels like it. It certainly on does. On so many fronts. The pandemic. Yeah. Uh, uh, I know. In, in, in our circles. Uh, <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. All right. Defund the police. Let's get started with yep. this. Uh... <laughs> Black trans lives. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's. Non-binary Trans yep. mask. Don't forget anybody listening. Ableist, non-ableist. I'm sick of all these <laughs> ableist rants that I keep hearing <laughs> on, you know, different platforms. Me too. These <laughs> such jerks <laughs> with their ableist cisgendered <laughs> rants. Well, the cisgendered are the worst kind. Ugh. Yuck. They're so binary. Gosh. Everybody must be acknowledged and included all the time. And is it so hard to include your pronouns in your bio? I mean, I see some people doing it, but is it so hard so people don't have to guess? <laughs> God, people are just ridiculous. Now. I know. If you're not putting them in your uh, bio on Instagram, how are we going to know how to... Uh, 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 and if you're not wearing a pin with your pronouns, how am I going to know how to identify you all exactly. the time? How about a few more wheelchair ramps out there? No shit. I just went into a, a, a gas station. No wheelchair ramp. <laughs> what? Yeah. And they're you know what driving I everywhere. I fucking set it on fire. Cancel it. Yep. Did you cancel the gas station? Mm-hmm. Take it out of existence. And I can't believe people are giving Trump a hard time about using that Nazi symbol. I know. In his uh, advertisement. It's like... <laughs> 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 I 
All right. Wait Let's... a minute. Are you non-binary? No. Are you born gay or are you gender fluid? What are you? Are Am you I born fluid gay or and gender born fluid? gay? <laughs> <laughs> what uh, up? I I believe people are are definitely born gay. But are they also fluid? Which Some people's uh, well, first of all, your <laughs> preferences <laughs> Your sexuality should be fluid if you're healthy. If you're healthy, but you should also be proud of all of them and you should broadcast what makes your dick hard all the Let's time. Let's not forget to talk about butt fucking. Let's get into the <laughs> okay. opening clip and then we'll go from there. All right, here we go. Here's your opening clip. Let's go. Well, you can't tell by the way my eyes are lit. I'm a tweaker man. Ooh, I smoke the shit. I say bubs that don't exist and when I start to pick, I always miss you better come around cause I don't care, I smell my pipe and I'm a champ, but baby try to understand that honey I'm your tweaking man, even though I'm tweaking you know I should be sleeping but I'm staying awake, I'm staying awake cause I smoke my pipe almost every single night and I'm staying awake, staying awake I said I, <laughs> save a lot, this save a lot, this shit is big time, who is Randy, don't bring anyone mother into this, your mom in the fucking stand! Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsin. Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. There's a meth head who wrote a song about, <laughs> like a fun song about how he smokes meth. I know, and I like to see tweaker energy going to making art and something positive. That's really kind of cool. Yeah. I also can't imagine the allure of tweaking. It you know, sounds terrible. You know what I thought about though when I saw that video? How that guy would be, like it, that guy's fun and funny. Yeah. And then if you were to be like, I don't know, like, reach over and take his pipe out of his hand, Ooh. he would immediately try to murder you. <laughs> like all of his sense of humor would go out the window. Yeah, it would just like, switch. He would the switch. flip would like switch. That. Yeah. yeah. And he would kill you. That tweaker rage. Mm -hmm. but it's the, pretty cool. It's a, <laughs> it's a pretty cool drug. Um, but he was describing, me. he's like, I'm going to stay awake. I'm going to stay awake. Yeah, it's funny. That sounds terrible. Staying awake. Staying awake. <laughs> I hate staying awake so the much. Worst. It's, it's the, the worst. It's the worst feeling <laughs> to like stay awake past when you want to stay awake. Like, it's the worst. The other day. Like, like no, no, no. You got to catch this flight. And you're like, oh, <laughs> fuck. Or like the other day, our kid, our older boy kept coming into our bed. He had a nightmare and he kept us up fucking it from was 2 a.m. To, to 5 a.m. He came and he goes, I had a nightmare. <laughs> Even he says nightmare correctly. I'm like, Bert. So, and he said nightmare. I yeah, saw that. Yeah, nightmare. And you guys, like, nightmare. I was like, I've been saying it wrong my whole life. So, <laughs> no, but our son was like, I had a nightmare. And we, it was two in the morning. We were like both uh, out of it. So we were like, get, get in bed. Come on. Yeah. And he gets in bed and then he's like, why do sharks bite people? And I was like, what <laughs> the fuck? And he, <laughs> like, he's like, why? I'm like, because it tastes good. And then it's like, why? And they just as you know, when you sleep, you're just like, you, you finally reach that like official dozing state. Yes. And then just doze. And now it's like 2.30. He's like, hey, dad. I'm like, <laughs> mom, I'm like, what? He's like, I'm hungry. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> I know. 4 a.m. Two and hungry. a half hours. Oh, it was so horrible. But that feeling of not being able to no. sleep and you're tired, I can't even imagine that that's pleasurable. And then to not regulate your emotions, like to, to go from, like you said, like, ha, to yeah. fuck you. Oh, yeah. Day. But the real thing is, <laughs> that's how good meth is. <laughs> like when you go like, well, what, why would you, that's how fucking fun it is. How much, Is it that fun? It I has to be. That's why it feels so good. That's why you can do so much. That's why you want it more. That's Annie, why you, you ostracize your family. Does meth feel good? Have you done it? Why would I have done that? I don't know. You like to experiment. You, you specifically call me out on that. What's up with that? No, I have not done meth. Not yet. You're young and hip. You go to the clubs. 
Is that, is that what's hot on the streets right now, meth? You know who would know? Who? Robert Paul Champagne. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Well, I will say when my stepsister was on it in the yeah. 90s, yeah. she said she really liked having her meth body. Any, how does it, meth compare to PCP? Which feels <laughs> like, what? what's the difference for you? I heard that uh, meth is is less uh less scary than heroin that's the only thing that i know scary. really hmm. and uh i mean honestly i'd be down to try it but i don't see? i haven't done it though i haven't done it i've never down done to it. try it see yeah. you want to try meth i mean i'd be down to try it don't it's try nothing it. that i'm trying it's listen. nothing that i'm actively seeking i'm just saying i'd be down I to try it don't, don't try it. get that out of your head <laughs> don't don't please copy no, I, that okay yeah, copy don't. that but oh, see, you guys were like, oh, why are you asking any? And then he's and like, then he's like, like, I mean, it sounds see? fun. <laughs> I, I always get, I'm always the inappropriate one. And then I'm right. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are just fucking Ridiculous. liars. You're lying to yourself, players. Yeah. You just played yourself. But I'm so glad to see this guy uh, come back into our world. It's nice to have the say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And it's so great because Nadav named his file the best name yeah, that's for a right. file. It's one I think of the great ever. It's one of the great episodes of. Uh, what was the title, house. Nadav? Say it out loud. Plays lung infection like instrument. <laughs> I take a lot of pride in naming my clips. So. Yeah, <laughs> that was they're really, really good. They're really, that one really broke me though. There's <laughs> there's video footage of it. It really broke me. Yeah, this guy lives afuera. It looks like that means outside. <laughs> In the dessert, uh -huh. it looks like. In the dessert <laughs> is right. Those wrinkles. Oof. What do you think gave him all those wrinkles? Because his arms aren't as wrinkly as his face. It's called easy living. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> just sleep outside for 40 years and then you get some wrinkles. He definitely doesn't do Botox. He, no. Fillers. No. No. Um, doesn't do that. Doesn't do the dentist. But guess who did? <laughs> uh, this past Oh it's wow! Your boy. <laughs> yes, sir. So exciting! This is a dental update. <laughs> <laughs> the dental update. I went to my. So, um, I can't. We've, it's been so long. How long has it been since you? No, no, not that long. It's not you, that long. It's that. Guy. It's that I. I went back to our old dentist from years ago. And the reason, like, we had a great <laughs> dentist and we moved. We moved a couple times. This particular dentist um, was like, you just know that it's a good man. You know, he it's was like, honest. he's very you honest. Could you could just tell he's a good a guy. And he, you know, great as far as like your procedures and treatment, but just like a really good guy. And I actually was bummed out. And then when you move, we went to a guy who, you know, may or may not. Um, be heavily to the BDSM lifestyle, which I don't care about, <laughs> but I'm saying, um, you know, then he stopped working. So then I, I yeah. went to, I went to the replacement and right away I got that like bullshit feeling. It was a young, when there's a young dentist, for some reason, every time I've uh, uh, run into a young one, they always have a lot more shit they want to do. It's like that time I went to the dentist and they said I needed 13 cavities. Can you believe that? Right. I remember when you told me that after I told you about my right. story. Well, it happened to me. <laughs> I too. was like, what? Okay. It's, it happened to me too. Uh huh. So, Eric, in the, Eric Lundy was, yeah, was there. That was, that was probably before the majority of our audience was formed, but that's another incident where they would probably accuse you of stolen valor. Okay. Um, well, what, what's <laughs> speaking of stolen valor? Uh, stolen dental valor. Wow. <laughs> Okay, wow. literally I worked for I worked for Extreme Makeover, the show, and they sent us to get teeth whitening to the guy that was doing whitening to all the contestants on Extreme Makeover. And while I was there, they go, "Do you want an exam?" And I was like, "Yeah." And the do the de not the one from the show, one of his subordinates was like, "You have 17 cavities. Do you want us to fill them?" And I was like, "17 cavities." And then I was like, "Nah, no, nah, I don't." And I went to another dentist, an Armenian guy in Hollywood. Why'd you have to and call him out for being Armenian, Tom? Because I couldn't say his last name. Are you Armenophobic? I remember I tried to say it and he was like, Jesus. Like he was as offended as I am at elementary. Oh, and that's he was the worst. like, You have no cavities. And I was like, What? 
And then he told me, you know, he was like, there's, there's some shitty dentists. The crazy thing is that the person who was trying to rip me off was, was in the, no, was the young guy at the, at the Beverly Hills office. He was, you know what I mean? So you go, oh, Beverly Hills must have the higher standards and stuff. No, that's where the scumbag was. Yeah, they usually was are. was making up. Now, Yana, may I present my side of yes. the story? Yes. I was working for a company and they gave me dental insurance. This is a true story. Have Eric but, Lundy but, verify but this story. But to verify this, to verify your valor, to verify something. Wait, my story was definitely told first on this show. Okay, definitely. fine. I, I agree. I, I'm, okay, not, I'm, okay. not, I'm not disputing that. All right, all right. All right. However, Yana, might I add, I went to a dentist, non-Armenian. I'm not sure what his race was because I don't see race or color. <laughs> okay. Um, and any hoodles. The Armo was the one who gave me like the, informed me that the guy was a liar, not the guy who was trying to rip me off. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. So I went to Burbank because it was near my office that I worked at where I got dental insurance and I presented my dental insurance card so they knew I had the insurance. Uh -huh. And then the guy, he's like, we'll do a full set of x-rays. And then he gave me this spiel too. You have several cavities. And I was like, that's fucking bullshit. And I went to my old school Hungarian dentist mm -hmm. and he was like, this is fucking bullshit. You don't have no fucking cavity. And then that was that. He so, had like three different accents in just in that one sentence. No, this is all Hungarian <laughs> accent. The point is a sim similar yeah. thing happened to me. And I don't know why well, Why we can only have ex singular no, experiences and a plurality it's of not, experiences. Not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that. We can definitely have different different experiences. Actually, what it, what it brings to light is the whole point of why I now travel to our old dentist because there are so many scumbag fucking dentists no, out suck, there yeah. that I go to the guy, the honest. Okay, well, let's have the update. How many cavities do you have, first of all? Okay, so I have, I don't have any new cavities from this um, appointment that I had. I did have one cavity a couple weeks ago. Wow. And, um, and, but I went to him. So when he said, he's like, you should, this one's kind of starting. You should, we should do this one. I was like, yeah, you do it. Then I went back. He told me about, he told me that like you can sometimes in an x-ray see what will eventually become a cavity. And he goes, sometimes it won't progress for like 30 years. Oh, that's interesting. He's like, it can look like it'll start and then it'll just stop. Oh, that's interesting. So he was, it was showing me a bunch of stuff on x-rays, but it was great. Well, and let's I, talk about your gum scores. Um, you know, twos and threes. Wow. Which is what you want. And did he compliment you on your flossing or did you get lectured on your lack of flossing? He didn't even mention it. He goes, uh, he, he was the uh, hygienist was like, how are you, um, how are you with your flossing? And I was like, yeah, I could be better. And she was like, yeah, your gums look good. So she didn't say that I wow. was in bad shape with that either. You didn't get any kind of talking no to. No talking to. Did no. they tell you to brush your back teeth more? Because I often get that note and I have mm -hmm. resent it because I do brush a lot. I brush frequently. Yeah. More than twice a day. I brush like three times a day. Yeah, you do. You take it really good care well, of your Well, because to me to have bad breath is just like. It's horrifying. I agree. I mean, I wake it's up. It's not okay. I had a whole thing with Bert last week where he was like, <laughs> he goes, I go, when do you brush your teeth first? And he was like, you know, like later in the day. And what? I was, yeah. I what? Go, oh, yeah. What are you talking about? I told him that I, I go, I pee and then I brush my teeth. He was like, nobody does that. Yeah, and you I do. Go, yeah, I do that every morning. And one of the reasons is that like, I go, I should empty my bladder. Yeah. And then I would like to get this taste out of my <laughs> mouth and not, you know, horrify other people with my breath. And he's like, nobody does that. So he, he wakes up and then he has coffee and he eats. And then sometimes after he eats, he'll maybe brush, but he prefers just to use a toothpick. So he doesn't brush his teeth a lot. Yes or no? Is that true or not? That is what he said. Yeah. He's so disgusting. He said he brushes maybe once a day, but he flosses. All, he uses the picks yeah, all the time. Yeah, it's not the same as flossing, A. B, he's so gross. So hold on. Not only is his mouth disgusting, yes. and then he takes outdoor showers, pool showers, the majority yes. of his time. And he's building an outdoor shower at the new house. So that he's, like, he's like, I love outdoor showers. He's just going to shower outside all the time. Which is, does he use soap in the outdoor shower? Yes. Or okay, says, that's fine. But not in the pool. Right. No, the pool's chlorine. But, but the pool, he's like, it cleans me pretty well. Can you imagine that Leanne puts her mouth on his mouth and on know, his and genitals? And on his penis all the time, yeah. 
He said she's really good at it. It's so another thing I was like, huh. Do you really want to? He's like, that woman knows how to suck a dick. I was uh. like, Jesus, man. <laughs> Your wife. <laughs> does she butt fuck though? I don't know that she does. I don't know that she does. Well, anyway, that's a, it's a good thing to know. So you, you don't have any problems. You're good. I'm good on the teeth. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Okay. I had my Smurf day. Yeah. I turned farty fart years of yeah, age i tried to fart 44 times for you that day <laughs> well you post you gave me the challenge you said are you gonna fart 44 times and i today? gave you your birthday cake were you excited oh, yeah why don't you show the listeners i was gonna post this so it is my birthday there's baby and my husband got me this cake happy birthday to you yeah. and your huge tits <laughs> there's alice screaming yep. um that's amazing. You had so for those of you just listening, he had a custom made cake of my huge tits, mm -hmm. and you even got the mushy perps in there. They're kind of yeah. dark nips. Did you tell them to go dark on the nipples? No, uh, uh. They just kind of instinctively <laughs> knew. Um, it's beautiful. Happy though, isn't birthday it? to you. <laughs> it actually was a really beautiful cake. And no, delicious. go ahead. Read the message. It says "Happy birthday to you and your huge tits." That's pretty cool, and it has a nameplate that says Christina on it right yeah. yeah it was really cool and um our nanny blushed a little even bit. though she misspelled she Christina. Forgot the oh there's the tits sliced off yeah and i said go cut the cake and i handed him the knife and i'm like how happy does this make you to finally cut up tits like you've been wanting to do for so long and then he did big smiles there's the tit <laughs> cool and then i jade my d did she <laughs> yeah all that violence yep uh, does it say christine did you make her do Christine? No. I actually texted her <laughs> your name. <laughs> so she just instinctively was like, nah. What is so hard about my name? I, I don't wonder. know. Like, I don't know. It's just a mystery of the ages. The one that really hurts, I think, is when it's like, uh, you know, not a close, close friend, but somebody <laughs> friendly, somebody who like I, we've known for Met a while. Met a few times now. Yeah, yeah. And they'll be like, <laughs> how's Christine doing? And I'm like, she's good. Yeah, she's good. Like, <laughs> does anyone call you Todd or Tim? No. No, Tom's pretty easy. Yeah, it's so easy. three letters, man. I mean, yeah. it's hard to fuck it up. It is hard. They to fuck, fuck you. It can up. fuck it up if you like you're meeting someone. Like, hey, what was it, Tim? Todd. But like, if Todd after a few years, you know, yeah. 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 Well, I had a beautiful birthday. Uh, we had a great celebration, and uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to be in my mid 40s now. Uh, yeah. Oh, speaking of shout out to the TikTok community. Uh, speaking of cool things, I do yeah. on talk. Um, I am so proud of Generation Y. They punked Trump so fucking hard. It's pretty funny. It is pretty funny. They used TikTok to request seats to his uh, that rally in yeah. Tulsa, and they request K-pop fans and TikTokers together. <laughs> and they sabotaged it by requesting it's a funny. million I mean, tickets. I get it. Regard like if you're <laughs> politics, if you're a conservative, maybe you're mad about it. But you have to tip your hat at just it's the great. So the funny thing is that they they made over a million ticket requests. <laughs> and then obviously, if you're the campaign, you're like, holy shit. So then they told everybody in there, including Trump, they're like, this is going to be fucking huge. So he was proud before he was like, this shit's like, going to be shit's gonna pop off, popping, huh? man. He was like, you have no idea how big this is going to be. So then they show up to the event and there's 6,000 people in a 19,000 seat arena. And then... He set up or had an <laughs> overflow area set up. They're, they're like, we need room for the hundreds of thousands of people oh my God. that will be upset that they didn't get in. And so they set up outside monitors and a whole thing. And there was like <laughs> 76 people at that. So He is so crazy, though. He was saying his on his speech, they showed, a, I watched a BBC yeah. snippet of it. And it was like, he was like, they're telling you to stay indoors. <laughs> they're telling you to wear those masks. You came tonight, you're warriors. Like, oh my God, you were telling us. This is what you know. You were telling us For to stay sure. Indoors. Whoever will be president next year will be <laughs> out of their fucking mind. Either <laughs> the guy who's currently president, who is a delusional, narcissistic, <sighs> pathological liar, and a horrible human being, the worst <laughs> human being that we've gotten to know publicly, or, or a guy who is like, what? <laughs> now, if he can live what? past the election. 
And we're like, who said that? And you're like, no, no, you, we're asking you. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. So it's either going to be a guy who doesn't know what room he's in <laughs> or the current guy who's just a human piece of shit. I don't a know. pile of human garbage. I know. <laughs> So yeah, bad. that's it. The actually, like the best thing you can kind of hope for, oh, the world is that Biden taps a good VP and then like dies kind of soon <laughs> a- after after he's elected. Best case, there's scenario. no way he's living four years no. if he went. There's not no a chance. Way. How old is he now? He's 80? seventy-seven. He'll be seventy-eight. Yeah, he's dead. I mean. Yeah, I mean he's basically <laughs> almost dead. So like, if he wins, they'll be like. They'll just, they're just going to pull the vice president aside and be like, you know, you're going to be president. For soon, right? <laughs> Chaos. Yeah. You know, oh, I, you better, I you better like so who the depressed. VP is because that's who's going to be president for sure. Um, oh, my God. His commercial that he put out is. Let me see. I haven't seen it. It's so insane. Let me see. Let It'd be me like see. if my uncle made a commercial. Let me see. Like, like it is so crazy. Okay. A fucking ridiculous, man. <laughs> I cannot believe this is real. We just need a. I'm right up here on the left. Okay. Actually, the road's closed, so you can turn around in the driveway at the bottom of the hill. Cool. Have a good night. Cool. And so the face black driver, sixteen-year-old high school, giving somebody a ride home, right? Like, so if you're listening, a black Uber driver dropped off this young lady at, at home. She was watching the. Uh, that incident where the older native guy and the young, the young kid remember at the park, it was like a huge story. Yeah. Um, yeah, this thing is this, this commercial was definitely shot for $400. Um, and then she's like, what's going on? Keep going. Go. Keep going. Go. So yeah. Okay. So then she, (laughs) I don't know if you can, yeah, explain what's going on. Yeah, yeah. I have to kind of wait for it to stop, to stop and explain it. Oh, my God. This is so embarrassing. So, in the commercial, the uh, there's a, the black Uber driver pulls away, and there's a guy behind him who's like, go, 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 and he's wearing uh, a MAGA hat, and so... Then the girl who, who recorded it uploaded it to YouTube as my racist neighbor attacked my black Uber driver. And then the world was like, holy shit, this is, this is super racist. This is racist, 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 you know? So you're seeing like how, right. like the, they're showing the, you. The fake news. Right, right. The, how it's been interpreted. And then we're going to get to see like, I guess what really happened. <laughs> Really, it was just a matter of time. Oh, there's a fake like this, and I'm really surprised. CNN, CNN. commentary. Uh, something worse. Yeah. Kill. So, People always ask, what does it mean to make America great again? Okay. So then you hear that voiceover, and you're like, oh, wow, this story's really taken off. And here's what really happened this nice white guy. Put on his that, MAGA that hat. looks like fucking <laughs> Sal from Impractical Jokers. Oh, the black guy was stuck in the ice, in the ice and the snow. So, so the mag he goes, I gotta get my MAGA, MAGA hat on. He puts on his MAGA hat, and he's like, I gotta help this fucking guy out. He's like, Hey, man, <laughs> you stuck? Right. Oh, the snow, music's man. triumphant. I'm black and I'm Try stuck. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> So oh, then sure. what really happened I got it. I is got that it. he was like, dude, let me fucking help you. I saw that you were out here. I just saw you stuck and I just threw my hat on to help push your car. So he's like, hey. All right, look, here's what we're going to have to do. I'm going to push. Don't hit the brakes at all. You just got to keep going. Okay. Don't hit the brakes at all, man. I'm pushing. I'm pushing. Oh. Go, go, go. Keep going. going. Don't slow down. It's to make America a better place than it was the day before. What an awesome commercial. That's awesome. Oh, no. I would not be embarrassed if my campaign made that super cool commercial. And by the way, I don't think Trump stands for, like, helping other people and helping your neighbor. I don't think I've never heard him be like, 
and help your neighbors. Yeah. I'm just saying it's not a platform. He's popular. Uh, dude. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. I mean, any. How would you feel if a guy in a MAGA hat was like, "Hey, man"? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he'd be coming to help. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you stuck? <laughs> I'd be like, "No, I'm good, man. I, I got cops are on the way. It's all good. Cops are on the way. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty." Uh, I pretty, mean, he trusts them, so I, I feel. Like, you know, I mean, production-wise, you think that was a good ad, dude? That that scene, I thought it was a joke. That looked like a parody yeah. the whole time. Yeah, yeah. That sort of like how the last few years have felt, right? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that's his take on all of it. Like racism is is a it's fake news. <laughs> yeah. It's fake news. It's all fake news. It's so bad. I mean, it's so embarrassing. These commercials are generally embarrassing, but that yeah, was that was so bad. Like if you fall for this shit. It's so ridiculous. Uh, did he pay for that or did someone just make that on their TikTok. own? I don't think he paid for that, right? I don't know. I mean, he posted it. Like, someone clearly somebody... sh shot it on their iPhone. Yeah. Like, I still, like, that still came out really weird audio levels. Like, I had to mix it. Yeah, on there's my no, end. okay, so there's no way he, because it says, what's that? It says P. Martinez right there. Right. But so here's somebody... what's crazy is he's just retweeting fan videos. Yeah. yeah I know. <laughs> it's so insane. <laughs> he's such a <laughs> lunatic. But then the uh, the opposite uh, will be it's so painful. The opposite will be Biden wins and he'll just be like, huh? <laughs> what? I don't know. Uh, Mr. President, who's president? You're who's the president pre <laughs> now. Now. But all I want is just I just want it calm for a minute. Like yeah. I would take a boring Malay's presidency over yeah. anything remotely exciting ever again. For, here, just give me four years of boring. Can we just do that? Let me give you something. Can we just let's, do status quo? This, let's, 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 let's cleanse the palate, okay? okay? Let's just wipe it clean here. This took three loads, approximately three wanks, and I got my vape full of my cum. <laughs> okay. And every time I try this, it tastes different. So today when I vape <laughs> my cum... I'm going to tell you what it tastes like. I vey. No. Oh. Tastes pretty good today. It's the usual. It's a little bitter, kind of bleachy, but there's notes of mango and pineapple in there. You know, with, with a little bit of saltiness to it, so, you know, you get like, it, it tastes like you just ate like a roast beef with pineapple on it which is a pretty interesting taste for vape juice but you can only get that flavor when you vape your own cum <laughs> i feel like in my mind this is the guy that directed that trump commercial <laughs> I know. like he's wearing the director glasses <laughs> and he has his own vision oh boy Oof. you know what reminds me <clears throat> there's an incel documentary that i would love to see that uh, it sorry, it was on Amazon Prime, and then it, they pulled it down. You guys, if you know what I'm talking about, and BBC has it up on uh, their site. Uh, just Google incel documentary. Oh, that smelled. Cool. Thank you for sharing. And it's on BBC, but I can't download it. Can you? There it is. Inside the secret world of incels. That's not the one you were talking about, though. Well, there's that one, and then there's the Amazon Prime one. Oh. Google down. That's some acronym that I don't understand. It's like I N T. Without girlfriend. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. I didn't need the last part. Uh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> that Grass Kingdoms made that? It was. That's fantastic. And I don't think I found what you were looking for. No. <laughs> so, 
Google. Okay, so that is the one you I'm looking said for. TFW. No, no, hold on, hold on. There is this one. It's called Inside the Secret World of Incels. Yeah. The, Inside the Se- Secret World of Incels. So if anybody can send that to us, I would love to see that. That's on BBC. It's unavailable in the U- U.S. And then there's another one on Amazon Prime. Just Google Incel Documentary Amazon Prime. And it was released in March of this year, and then it was taken down. It was at the, yeah, uh, it was supposed to it was supposed to debut at South by Southwest Festival and was unveiled this week on Amazon. So I looked, and it's not there, except for the Forgotten Regions. Yeah, so for some reason, it's not available. It's called TFW, no GF. is a deeply uncomfortable portrayal <laughs> of incels. Um, they fucking hate women. Yeah. It's like... Fuck women are ruined everything. Kind yeah. of reminds me of our friend a little uh, of like women should clean up unprompted. Uh huh. A little bit of that going on. But sure. I don't think he's an incel. No. Um, but I'm curious to see it. So please send it to us if you find if you could get those. That'd be great. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Uh we should probably talk about now the big news <laughs> of the last a uh, few weeks. <sighs> um, felt like a. I mean, so just to be clear, I'm so exhausted. For people, for people, I know, but for people who are watching or listening, when we talk about this now, I, we've said it before, but you know, just in case you don't know or if you're new to this, uh, we record this show usually a week before you see it. So, and I think it's important to say that because between when we're recording and speaking right now and when you'll see it, news could come out like. Things Especially these days, of exactly, the world exactly. can erupt. So you'll have to forgive if all of a sudden you're like, "Wow, how far off is this now?" Well, like we didn't know, right? You know? So we didn't know. But I mean, yeah, it was it was it was a really really heavy uh, last. You know, it's been a week. It's been a, an entire week of like, man, it felt like our. You know, I think it's especially di- difficult and different for some. For people when it's people you know and it's like in an industry that you work in but um yeah so a, a week ago now um, and two weeks ago from when you're seeing this um came out that uh like chris D'Elia had uh, has been accused of um you know targeting and harassing um women and underage women like the accusations are that there are minors involved and it's it was like you know i'll tell you this a lot of times when you see the news like we have it's like somebody and it's just a name and you're just like oh that's that person but it's different when you know somebody you know it takes Which it takes you a, it takes you a while to, to process what's going yeah. on um i'll just say that like well first i'll, I'll tell you this that He's somebody who, uh, you know, we were never in each other's like inner circles, mm. but in my experience with Chris, I've always had a, uh, always had a good relationship with him, like a respectful get along, you know, relationship. Most of my conversations with him were, you know, at the store in the parking lot or in the hallway. And they were always just normal conversations about the road or what right, we were right, doing. Right. And, um, and then obviously we've podcast. He's been on this podcast a few times. We always had a good time podcasting with him. I know. Um, and then, yeah, you hear this news and like I said, it, it takes you a while to process it, like to understand. Yeah. Like, Cause I think like what you just said is it's so accurate. Like when you heard the news of other people doing it and you're like, yeah, those are comedians, but they're not comedians in our immediate circle. Yeah. And it's kind of, and I, it is a different dynamic when it's somebody, you know, and you thought was one way. And then now you're like, whoa, like it's, it is bananas and it, yeah. it's complex. It's not like you immediately just go, fuck that guy, he's, he's canceled. No, it, you, you, like, you have complicated, what? you have complicated yeah. feelings about it and complicated thoughts and emotions about it because of that. And I, I don't have any, it's not complicated if you go like, well, what's complicated about like, no, 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 I, I believe the, yeah, let's like, be clear, not, yeah, yeah, I'm not we're saying, not defending any of his no, no, no. behaviors. If, if the allegations are true, it's horrible. <gasps> it's horrible, it's super sad, and he'll have to pay for what he's done. Like, that's just the way the world works. So there's consequences, and he will have deserved and earned them, okay? Like, yeah. I, have, I have zero reservations about saying that. Um, you know, like I, I was making the point that like somebody I knew 
you know, somewhat and um, always liked the guy and it was terrible to hear. And I'm sad for, you know, if, if, uh, if like I said, if those are all true, I'm sad for the girls that it happened to. I think it's, oh it's, my it, God. it's absolutely terrible, especially if it, we're talking about a minor. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely am really sad about that. Like on so many levels, I'm sad for those girls. I'm sad just at the situation. It just, it made me feel ter- like just bummed out. And yeah, I think the first night we we saw like Twitter blowing up, you and I were just like, what is going on? And I wasn't even, it was like, I was, I uh, when the story broke too, I thought it was just about him being like a dog. Right, because you know, like, here's the deal. Like we, and people go like, you guys all. Oh, uh, it's yeah, like, that's such well, nonsense. Well, here's the thing. We knew that Chris liked girls. We didn't think he liked girls girls <laughs> do you yeah. know what i mean like well yeah i mean like he likes well, like, well yeah models like, like, are pretty sure you and just, people like wondering like when they like somebody like me who goes like you know i pull into the comedy store you see everybody who's doing spots that night yeah they're co-workers um, they're co-workers yeah like and imagine jim that you work with you see at the copy machine every same thing every so yeah. now and then you find out stuff about him that's and troubling look, and possibly for, but troubling, for people allegedly troubling for yeah for people saying like what like did i see him with women yeah sometimes and but never questionable never. ages never never not defending him, with, him no no i know just nobody but knew we didn't no, 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 know no. that's something that if that if that is true that is obviously something that you would hold close to the vest it would be <sighs> a secret um every woman that i saw him with was clearly of age like that i saw him with yeah, same. I never saw him with anybody who I was like, how old? No, I was always like, oh, it's a beautiful. But that's not to say we don't believe the girls that have no, come out. It's just saying no. like to us, it's a shock because you do know this person on a, a level. On and a you, certain you level, go yeah. like, oh my God, is that? And it, your whole world is kind of reoriented. And in our community, it's a bomb. It's an atomic bomb. Totally, and it's man. so upsetting. And, and I think for days, you and I were just like. Yeah, yeah, it affected me for days. Me too. Just like trying to like understand what was going on it, it was you know it was it affected me for days and i do think that like i thought about you know if if that were true if all the accusations are true and if they're if they're young it's so it's so bad and it's so terrible and sad i also you know after a couple of days i started to think about like how this guy definitely needs help like he needs to be if we were talking about like 500 stories and the stories were all like just crazy shit that happened and then the last sentence was always like and then he reeked of booze we would be like you know you're still you're you're going to be held accountable for all your actions there's no, nothing yes. is excused but by the way you should probably address your alcoholism you know <laughs> right. like if they were like that right right it's and a like direct these thing. stories are it's like it's i'm not a an expert but it's like it's pretty clear that this guy is an addict you know yes like, uh, yes something's wrong here something is definitely wrong deeply wrong and yeah. um, i i hope he gets treatment and in in addition to like you know being held accountable like he needs help i think so too and and look i'm all we got to call out uh, dudes for doing fucked up shit yeah i'm all about it and yep go ahead we're gonna we have to show that we're not afraid and that we're powerful as women and that we're we can now speak out yeah and then you know and it's totally a right thing to do now long term you go okay now that we've canceled this guy is that going to deter all the other guys no that's the thing like i'm just the, saying on a philosophical debate yeah. so let's take it a step further further so i'm saying what's in line with you is like yeah cancel him. he shouldn't be able to to continue to do what he's doing and let's make him pay yeah he needs to be held accountable absolutely for whatever he did absolutely yes. now just taking it further how can we stop this from happening in the future how do we yeah. make i mean I'm save all the world on, a better place i'm on board for you know that he, this is the thing i want to be like clear like how about. do we raise our boys so that yeah, they yeah. don't think you know what i mean like there is a thing where they you know people are saying like uh about like the the culture in these clubs right like people are i mean that was a bit like the conversation you know the culture is of the comedy clubs is allowing for this type of behavior and i i got to say just i, don't know. I whatever i say it's going to be you know, seen through the lens of, yeah, but you're a white male, blah, you know. Right. And I go, yeah, I acknowledge that. You're cisgendered and you're ableist. Uh, I, I acknowledge that. But, um, you know, have I ever heard, obviously, like crude and 
not cool things said? Yeah, of course I have. But do I find that our current comedy club culture is sick and pervasive with <laughs> like that behavior? I have to say that I, you know, I don't go into. I've never been the guy who harasses waitresses and no. and and other com female. I take female comics on the road with me. I haven't seen like. I don't feel like this, like when I used to go to the comedy store and I would go, this place is a dungeon. And I had, <laughs> and I couldn't believe people talked it about was, it. A, in a, it was, it was a, a depravity. Light. I was like, who the fuck wants to come here? Yes. And I didn't go there for years and years and years. I mean, I would go on a booked show if I was invited, maybe Same. once every two years or something. You know, it was like, I didn't give a fuck about that place. I worked the improv, that was it. Things shifted when like Tommy left, Adam took over. They made that place, I mean, I've just had nothing but good experiences there. Let me tell you, as a female, speaking as a white cisgendered female, yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't want to go there either. And I got past when Tommy was yeah. um, the overlord of it all. And I didn't like it either because it did feel, it felt a little, yeah, just something's not, nothing was ever done to me. But yeah, you just, you felt it. But now, like you said, since it's been, it's this new shift of, government there it's kind it's a great open place and so many women have been passed and i don't know i don't feel a single iota of threat or ookiness now so to to look it's all changing and i think we have to accept that now that being said when i started comedy yeah it was a way creepier vibe in general yeah. that was 15 years ago and i think we're cleaning it up and it's it's I yeah, think and it's and it, fine. And like I mean, guys like me, like I think the responsibility we have is somebody really is, you know, there's jokes and then there's like somebody doing something like like harassing somebody. You have to call that shit out. You but get, I've you, never seen but it. I, I don't see I that. I've never actually personally no. I've never seen it. I don't I've heard like, you know, stories of creepers back in the day at the store. Yeah. <laughs> but like I've never I don't know. I don't know. It's so um, confusing, guys. And also, like, we're still processing this. So please forgive it's a lot. us here. You know what then I mean? There was like, the, uh, then the story became that they were, they were getting on um, like a, an 11-year-old clip of Diaz <laughs> on Rogan's podcast when he used to do it out of his house. Yeah. Um, and Diaz told some story about um, getting blowjobs for stage time. Uh, like somebody like the women had to blow him for stage time like 10 years prior to that mm. um, at the comedy store and like Rogan laughed and clapped and people were like this man is talking about assault and this guy is laughing at it and my my initial reaction was like so I I mean I'll just again I know this is a white cisgendered male totally able-bodied and everything but there's a couple things that I would, I would uh, note about that. Okay, first of all, to me, Joey Diaz is a gross, <laughs> in many ways, but a gross exaggerator. This guy. Oh, I thought you were gonna go somewhere else. Well, yeah, gross. no, he's also physically repulsive. But I meant <laughs> that, that like the guy has. I've been hanging out with him for ten. Yes last years yeah about 10 11 10 years i would say every st story that he tells me is more outrageous than the previous one and they usually involve a woman's monkey his helmet a knife drugs robberies <laughs> sex and i'm always like yeah um i feel like i'm pressing play on like a you know the martin scorsese collection every time he talks yeah. And he's somebody who if I, I used to I used to like then question his stories like after he'd tell them I'd go so let's go back to that story. <laughs> like then what you what you guys do with the gun? He's like, "What gun?" I'm like, "You just said that you guys <laughs> robbed somebody with a gun." He's like, "Oh." I'm like, "You did." And he's like, "When?" I go, "You said you guys were in <laughs> Jersey." And he's like, "No, it was Nashville." Why are you ask so many questions, Tom Stewart? Like he would just be like, "Stop talking." Yeah. And I go, "Well, all right. And then I started to go like, like I, I'm not diminishing if you say horrific things. What I'm saying is that like on these podcasts, I mean, I say crazy shit on this show. We, there's 
500 plus episodes of us just like saying outrageous stuff. And I've always like said them with the idea that the audience kind of know, like the most of them kind of know that we're embellishing, making stuff up outright. Like I talked about wanting to follow a, a woman alone to tie her up. I was like, that must be a thrill. That was on this show. Um, I have to, a news flash. <laughs> like, I don't really want to do that. I don't yeah. really want to, like, it was to be inflammatory to say something that would make people go like, oh my God. Right, it's called entertaining. You're being yeah. an entertainer. So, I, and I'll, I'll say this, if Joey really did that, I would think it was horrible. The, a couple other points about that story in particular on that show is he tells it, first of all, about happening in like 99. So mm -hmm. you're what you're saying is that he was basically an open mic comedian <laughs> who then had the power to give stage time out at the comedy store when in 1999 he was a hardcore <laughs> cocaine addict, you know? So what really, what really happened is that he, as a drug addict, and that woman who was also a drug addict probably did hook up in bathrooms for drugs. Not for stage time, for drugs. Is that a cool thing? No, it's probably a really sad, depressing lifestyle to be in. But I also don't think that what he said on Joe's thing is that. I also think that Joe laughing and applauding is what everybody in the inner circle fans, like I'm a fan, you guys are fans, or some of you are fans of his, go like, where can this lunatic take this next? Everything from him is about, like, Bert tells stories and makes things up, but it's fun fantasy. It's always like, and then I shotgun a beer, and then it's like, you know what? This parachute's not going to pull, but I'm going to fucking just land right. in the water. And you, you just know it's... And you know it's not and true. And what Bert, Joey does the same thing, but it's about debauchery. It's crudeness. It's him taking it, it to like this... Upteenth level. And here's the thing. Like, you're... <laughs> To try to cancel Joey and accuse him of stuff. It's, it's kind like, of fun. I kind of hope they keep digging up stories luck. and well, sharing them. <laughs> because you're essentially trying to cancel the crazy guy. Satan? At a, right. Like he's a crazy guy yeah. on a park bench shouting nonsense, yeah. shitting in his diaper and yeah. saying he's the president. Like the guy is. Yeah, he's. Burp, 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 burp. Don't so, forget also, look, I love him. His, I love him his too. His brain is mush. <laughs> he He has like fucking decades of cocaine yeah. heroin he takes a thousand milligrams of of thc a day you don't think that has some of i mean watch him try to wrap up a story he's, and then he's like what? And, and I, I, sleep yeah i think too um if the, if there was an actual woman that came out and was like i this really happened to me he oh, did this yeah we won't be sitting here talking he's like a this story it's a different teller. story yes. And also, like, first of all, I'm totally against policing anybody's fucking reaction to anything. Yeah. Um, anybody can laugh at anything they want to at any time. Don't you fucking tell me what to laugh. It makes me crazy. I, I, and secondly, I think when people laugh at Joey, you're laughing at the insanity that you're hearing, not because you're agreeing with his politics no. or you're agreeing with his behavior. You're actually horrified by it's, the behavior exactly you're and somewhat you're like what you're laughing at how preposterous the your thing. insides are uncomfortable right <laughs> you're like oh right. my god that's right, how like you he was here telling a story about fucking a was it a one-legged a one-legged woman and you're just i mean i openly am like that's so gross oh yeah you're crazy course. you're gross you're crazy christine as yeah. soon as i tongue your asshole you black out i'm like okay am i so gonna i got my hand in the monkey and i got my pinky around around her asshole yeah, I'm okay, guys. She's I'm fine. On her, the fake leg and can't even move. Yeah. She's got diabetes or some <laughs> shit. And I see her moaning and I go, I got to stick the hammer in her mouth. Like, <laughs> what? Dude, what? And guess what? No the one talks like no, this. No, and the woman in the room is okay. Yeah. I, I survived hearing the tale. Because so you know. It's okay, guys. You've known. You feel comfortable. You, and course. here's the thing. If you felt you were, I think, if you felt like you were near like a sex criminal or something you'd be like we can't fucking hang out we with can't this. laugh at that like right. he comes in here or when he's come he's coming to our house like he, uh he's a maniac i yeah. when i worked on that vegas degenerate shoot with him yeah he fell asleep in the <laughs> middle my favorite of a casino room do you know how loud a casino you know floor is ding 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 ding, ding. there was like, 
there was a band playing next to us and he's in front of a slot machine <laughs> passed out that's how crazy this guy is the so craziest can is you like, not don't even try you, know, you can't cancel crazy guys i don't think he's a predator i don't no. fucking think so i gotta say this i, I mean, don't think so either if he were a predator i would be so depressed and so sad that 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 was the reality and i really don't think that he I is i don't think so i really don't think that he is i think he is a a absolute like a hilarious human being who has a fucking wild life story to begin with and there's all types of shit going on in that head <laughs> that stream of consciousness is insane all right his explanation I, 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 he did an explanation video crazy of, person. What, don't what don't it. I, I tried watching i was like 10 minutes I, I made it three minutes and i was like all right it's i so got it crazy he was okay. like, i did a lot of <laughs> shitty things a lot of creepy things but uh <laughs> i made amends <laughs> like if he's out of his mind but i love him and uh yeah uh, i mean but look this this, it, this but this let's let's put but we him have aside. to listen at the end of the day at the end of the day, I believe in this women's movement. I believe it all needs to go down. It does. Yeah. But at some point, we have to live with the opposite sex. Men and women have to live together on this planet. We got to figure out a way. And with Jews. And with Jews. And we got to figure out a way to solve this shit, not just fucking freak out and cancel. Do you know what I mean? There needs to be a yeah. little thing Things, passed. Well, here's the thing. Whenever there's and a And I understand movement. women are mad. We're mad because we've been fucked with for so long. I understand it and we need to overcorrect it before we can come to some sort of resolution. Yeah. But there got to be, there has to be a better solution than just shame the guy, take away his livelihood, which is all great, right? But don't you, I mean, that doesn't deter other creeps. That's what I'm right. saying. In the long run, is that going to stop a creep who's not rich and famous from being a creeper? I don't think so. It's a good point. I don't know. How do we stop it from the very start? It also got me thinking about like with with the idea of, hey, the, here's things, because now they're like, here's things people have said and done before. Like they're on Kimmel, you know, for like his sketches. A he's decade done. ago. When well, it was, but it makes me think about like, you know, we're not immune to that. Oh right? God, God, are you kidding me? I know. No, so what I, what I, but I, I <laughs> thought about it and I was like, well, what would they say about, like, what would I say right now if you wanted to pull out all of our worst clips, like <laughs> stories <laughs> no. told, things said, and I'd be like, I mean, we were, uh, no, no, I'm serious. I know. Like, that's, would, why, that's why I'm, I'm like, what did I just say now in the last 30 fucking seconds? It's going to be. No, but what I would say though, for, uh, in my mind is like, this is what we've, um, like this is us. We've been trying to entertain and be fun. Like I like if you played me in a, a clip from whether it's from last week or ten years ago, saying something horrible, I'd be like, "Yeah, I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny when I said it. Yeah, I was trying to be funny. Of course. And, we're and then not if doing you go, anything well, like illegal. you should be held accountable for trying to be funny like that, I'd be like, no. I don't know. Some people are into it. Some people aren't. <sighs> Maybe you should uh, uh, but download there, NPR. Yeah. You know? Go listen to fucking what's her name, Lakshmi. Yeah. Pad me Lakshmi Bing. I don't yeah. know. The point is, uh, we try to entertain. We try to be funny. Yeah. And we're not doing anything illegal. That's a big fucking difference between hurting somebody's feelings and doing something illegal. So yeah. Go and fuck like, yourself if you're offended. And go that's cry. That's a nice. Go cry in your fucking diaper. All right. And um, real quick, I, I will say this. This was kind of an interesting thing and maybe a, a transition out of that. I got in bed the other day. You were already in bed. And it was, it was the evening and I said, you know, you go, how's it going, babe? Are you tired? And I go, oh, I'm going <laughs> to sleep like I got butt fucked all day. And, and then we started to discuss, well, is that appropriate? Is it an appropriate way to analyze how tired you are? And I got to thinking, mm. I've never talked to somebody about how exhausted they feel after getting butt fucked a lot. Mm. And what I want to know from a woman, hopefully, is when you get pounded in your puss, versus when you get pounded in your butt, mm. is either one more exhausting? Like do you, if you get butt fucked like really hard for a while, are you like, oh, like afterwards, are you like, Jesus, my butt got fucked so hard. Sure. And how does that compare to when you just get straight vag pounded? Right, I have a theory. Yeah, tell me. Well, I mean, this is my, I've never been butt fucked. So let's put that there front and center. Right, so you're kind of like a cisgendered male commenting on what black America is going through, but go ahead. Exactly. Right. The point is, 
I feel as though butt fucking, there's a little more stuff going on. You got to clean your asshole out beforehand. That's going to make you tired. Yeah. You might be bracing yourself for the penis about to go into a, a little more of a tenderoni place. Right. That's going to make you tired. Right. The, vag, the, mu- the muscle, the muscle clenching right. makes you tired later. Right. Because right? your muscles are you contracting. Gotta, you have to be like, relax, relax, yeah. relax. Whereas with your vagine, you're more relaxed naturally because it's like, oh, I've been there. I've done that. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't anticipate any pain usually. You know, you're not clenching up. But I, I don't know, speculation. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I think it'd be really nice if any of our listeners out there could fill us in. If you are a lady, uh, and the reason I say ladies is because they can do the comparison, okay? If you're a guy and you've been butt fucked a lot, you still have a valid opinion, but a woman can tell us the difference. Right. That is would- it more exhausting to get butt fucked versus is it, more exhausting to get vag pounded. The guys in the booth are nodding their heads. They're going, this is a really interesting topic. It's a hot topic, guys. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, I'm so happy we covered that important yeah. one on this. Really want to know. Also, I would like to <clears throat> bring attention to someone's own stolen valor. Excuse me? Yuma, Yana, yeah. I have brought a case to the court. Yeah. The other day, we were comparing resting heart rates amongst friends. Yeah. I wear my whoop and I said, oh, mine is this number. The other friends, mine's this number. All very healthy numbers because I'm a fit mom. And then you go, oh, my number is blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So low. So low. And you were. Everybody was like, dude, that's awesome. Like the other the, the other people were like, that is awesome. That, right. And you were so gl- gloaty and, and braggadocious about it. And then I, I thought to myself. Yeah, but you have this ab- weird heart condition. I don't have a heart condition. Well, what is it? What's the condition that gives you a lower resting heart rate than most people? My honestly, what is it? The doc. You know what the doctor said? I would. He said your shit's just more John Blaze than everybody else. <laughs> Stupid. That's what the cardiologist said to me. That is not what he, he said. That's exactly what he said. Direct quote. I can get him on the phone. I can get him on the phone. Get him on the phone. Right, not right now. <laughs> The point is, Yana, mm-hmm. is that you have stolen resting heart rate valor because you're claiming that you've earned it and you haven't earned that low resting heart rate. It's just there. It's just there. So it's stolen heart valor. <laughs> you can't say that you've earned it because you have some kind of heart anomaly, a genetic anomaly or something. I went to, I had all the doctors, all the tests. I'm going back this week. I know. I'm going back this week. They're checking out all my stuff. And uh, yeah, they've told me that my resting heart rate is ridiculous. Yeah, but that, you haven't earned it. It just is. It's Therefore, sort of it's like stolen heart, heart valor. valor. And just like you have stolen dental valor I with do your made up dental story. I do not have stolen dental valor. That is a true story. I can call Eric Lundy the and The fans have him. know the truth. They know. They know that you're a psycho and that you don't ever want me to have any kind of glory. <laughs> because... The key glory. I am the seeker. <laughs> Everybody knows it. I am the seeker. You yeah. won't let me have you, that glory. You are the seeker. Thank you. You are the seeker. Thank you. And I'm just seeking the truth. And I know that you're <laughs> lying. Okay. Can you can you name what I'm listening to? Oh, but you know, it's just bigger. And there's that this and. Okay, okay, hold on. There's a fist and a cock. <sighs> She's listening to the Beatles. Something in the way. Uh, do you have a guess? Uh, okay, okay. Now, the fact that she can speak clearly means there's nothing in her mouth. So I'm going to go with not dick sucks. Originally, I thought dick sucks. Obvi. So it's not a dick suck. I'm thinking she said there's a fist and a cock. You got I'm, yeah, good good at ear. Thank you. I'm gonna go with she's got a fist in her b hole and a cock in her v hole. Wow, uh, Nadav, can you weigh in? Yeah, I'll say Christina, you're really close. Uh, there is a fist in the v hole, uh, <laughs> and there's nothing in the b hole. <laughs> he sounds kind of bummed out about. Wow, there's. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so bummed out? Yeah, what's out? the problem? Well, I got a text last night <laughs> at around nine. I was getting ready for bed. 
because, you know, we have early call times on show days. Yeah. And? And Tom just sends me very vague links to heavyr.com <laughs> that are just category links. Yeah. And he's like, hey, go into here, find stuff that sounds funny, looks funny, and prep it for tomorrow. And it's like, I'm supposed to be in the studio in 12 hours, and Tom just assigned me half a day's work. Yeah. And did you stay up till 2 in the morning? No. I told him, hey, can we push this to maybe next week? He's like... Get at least a couple. Oh my God. You're so, where did you find this website? Well, here's the thing. That's a really cool story. Go ahead. <laughs> I have learned what the R stands for in heavy, R.com. You don't have to share it. <laughs> um, What's R? No, no, no. Because so, it ruled out a lot of the clips that I thought would have been fun, but. I just learned it after you told me. Don't worry about it. So uh, <laughs> if you want to know how I What's found R? this site, I found this site. Um, I was directed to it by a friend of ours. Which one? Norm from Norm oh, Summerton. Norm Summerton. Yeah, Norm Summerton, yeah, Norm Summerton um, actually is the one who pointed me to Heavy R. Um, he goes, "This when we played the his um, his uh, famous clip, Poutine. you know, uh, imagine a pig with tits." He, I love pig. He goes, "I uploaded that video originally to Heavy R," and uh, so I was like, "Oh, okay." And I went to the site and I was like, "Whoa." This is different than most of the adult sites I've been to before. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's real heavy. <laughs> is that the, uh, what's it called? Bagpipes. Those are bagpipes. <laughs> Yeah, so I had to slow down the speed so that the algorithm doesn't pick it up. <laughs> but, uh, and like she's. What's happening in that clip? Um, so let's see. Is that the clip that says O2? It's, uh, yes. Okay, so the clip that, what I've named that clip is Super Pierced. So okay. if you listen, because she has like 20 piercings on her vag. Okay. So you can hear. All of those piercings move as she's getting. That's what the jingling is. Oh, Super cool. fisted. Well, oh, look, it's fisted. I know again. that. Um, yeah. Now, how do the bagpipes come in? Uh, I think they're watching The Departed or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, I have. We have to wrap up here in a moment. We have to stop down, but just before we go, I just wanted to show you one thing. Sure. That's pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> What did you just see? Can I see it again? I didn't think that was possible. He wow. shit his own balls out of his ass. <laughs> this guy stuffed his own balls in his ass and then shit I them I thought out. I've seen everything. You have That it. was it. That was I don't all know how your it. balls aren't tender for the stuffing part. You know what I mean? Yeah, how does he get his nuts in there? Uh... I don't think that's the first time. You, I, think, I think he's done that a couple times. So should we, got camera should we leave this up for our guests? <laughs> <laughs> well, when you first see it, you're thinking hemorrhoids. And then yeah. you start seeing no. the action happen. You're like, oh, no, this is something. Very I mean, good. I thought something was up there. And I, you know what's funny is I always tell Tom, I'm like, dude, dude, when you find out what I'm going to tell you, you're going to fucking shit your dick out your balls. Like I yeah. say that to him at home all the time. Like you're going to shit your dick out. Yeah. And this guy could probably shit his own dick out. I feel like if he worked this guy's it. got a big dick and big long balls. <laughs> long balls. Like he sh he probably makes really cool content regularly. <laughs> Does he have an OnlyFans account? I'll uh, I'll get Zolo on it. Yeah, <laughs> he seems pretty cool. Get Zolo. Let's um let's just I gotta clear this screen. So uh, why you know. I really like this. You do. What are you gonna name this one, Nadav? It's called shit out your balls. <laughs> Life shit out your balls. Shitting out balls. This is probably one more time before we cut. We got this uh, chubby little fuck face <laughs> trying to tell me that I'm being violent. There is no violence. Screaming is not violent. Violence, you fuck time was what it is. You stupid fuck tart. That's a paramedic <laughs> trying to show up, help somebody. Yeah, I haven't heard fuck tart in a minute. It's pretty good. Like, we got to wrap. We okay, got to wrap. All right, all right, all right we'll be back soon.
I love Brook Linen sheets. We sleep on them right now. Mm-hmm. I've bought them for our own blue band. He's enjoying them. Yep. I think we have an order going to uh, Cockroach, too. That's right. We're using promo code MOM. But do you know about their towels? Their towels are amazing. Give your daily routine something a little extra. With varying levels of plushness, the towel of your dreams is waiting to wrap you up. I'm still getting up and showering every morning to have some semblance of a routine. Yes. And Brook Linen's towels are so plush. It's like the perfect hug to start my day off right. And you know me, I, I used to not dry off all the way. Well, with my Brook Linen towels, I relish the experience. Brook Linen is the perfect place to find all the comforts for home, including ultra soft towels. They're so confident in their product that everything comes with a lifetime warranty. Use promo code MOM for 10% off your first order at brooklinen.com. That's B R O O K L I N E N.com. Promo code MOM. Brook Linen, everything you need to live your most comfortable life. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Manscaped. Fellas, are you prepared to unveil your summer bod? Manscaped is here to ensure your post-quarantine body is ready for the wild. Don't be the guy at the beach with a bear rug on your chest. And if you grew some quarantine man tits, the least you can do is make sure they're hairless. Uh, Go to my YouTube and watch Bert Shaves Tom, and you can see what happens when you don't have a quality trimmer like Manscaped. You really end up making a fool of yourself and of your tits. These guys have (laughs) everything. The Perfect Package 3.0 kit comes with the Lawnmower 3.0. This is the best trimmer on the market. For those of you in need of a chest shave, the third generation trimmer features skin safe technology to reduce manscaping accidents. They also just launched in Canada. So if you're Canadian, you've gone years without the right tools for the job. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code MOM20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. Use our code MOM20. Trim your chesticles with the besticles. Oh, Oh. I'm so excited. Uh, Our guest today is someone who opened for me five years ago in San Diego and is now on Netflix right now. Quarter Please, Life Crisis. Quarter Life Crisis, the very funny Taylor Tomlinson. Oh! Thank you so much. That's the most applause I've gotten in three months. In three yes. months, I know. Important, important to know that it's also a comedian. <laughs> a comedian, lady. A, lady. a very Let's attractive, 1047, we're back. Very <laughs> sexy and funny ladies in the house. Oh did, my God. Did you get to do a lot of radio? Yeah. Did I get to? Yeah. I had to. Yeah. Well, did, same, you have, same. did you have those intros? Like, yeah. Oh yeah. my God. There was a guy, <laughs> I think he was a Florida dude, um, but that might just be an assumption. No. I'm yeah. making. Probably Sounds is. right. Yeah. I think it was, and like, he. <laughs> <laughs> 105.9, 15 past the hour. <laughs> really funny, a super sexy comedian. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. That would have been so much better. Uh, this guy, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, introed me by going, "This comedian, a uh, new Netflix special, Quarter Life Crisis, also made an appearance in my shower this week. Uh, don't know if that's okay to say. Anyway, Taylor uh, Tomlin said it, and I was what? like, what? Is this how you do it? Like, I also I'm, made an appearance in my shower. In my yeah, shower. A couple times this week, and I was like, God, Was he really old? I don't know. I can't. I can't mean, remember. I assume. It I was mean, can I follow up oh, and, and ask you? Uh, did you did you shower with that person? <laughs> <laughs> no. Have you butt sexed before? Have you done have butt you, okay, sex, Taylor? Straight up. Have you ever been butt fucked so much that you're like really <laughs> tired afterwards? I I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta leave. Um, what? what? Well, we're, we're trying to figure. Right I feel like it's science. Is we're there? Science. Oh my god! There's no exits in this room. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> how did I? They're locked. How too. did I even get in here? Yeah. This is. <laughs> Well, we well, were talking about, I mean, this is serious science, this scientific is a real conversation. debate here. Is that, do you think it's, it, do you get more tired butt fucking or do I'm not the person that vagi- asks. You don't butt fuck. But, I mean, we don't butt you, fuck either, so I didn't know. Could yeah. you make a, could you guess, if you had to get vag pounded for a long time and then butt fucked the next day for a long Oof. time, which do you think would tire you more? This is my favorite thing. You guys started by making fun of yes. radio <laughs> interviews that start yeah. like this. Yes, yes. And then you went, yeah. you know what, actually, that guy was onto something. Well, here's the thing. Let's do- <laughs> Here's the thing. It's well, an yeah. important question. Like, well, is he it? was being gross. We're trying to figure out Oh, you're what scientists. You <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's really different. 
you know, and we were having this conversation before you got here. Yeah, <laughs> now this is a continuation of the first part of the show. But in, in, in all serious note, that, uh, seriousness, that, uh, I was so blown away by Taylor when uh, we did the comedy store in La Jolla together. And this yeah. little girl, when you were, you were five years ago. 21? I, I mean, been 20, at 20 years old. And she is and was back then a fucking killer, bro. A killer. A killer. Oh, I nice. mean, to see somebody so young, so put together, and your act is great, and most people don't have much to talk about when they're very young, but I feel like you really had great topics, and you, your structure was so good, your performance, and anyway, I'm so blown. Burt Kreischer's a huge fan of yours as well, yeah, and he turned me on to you. He's a huge fan. And anyway, when the fuck did you even start stand-up? You... I started when I was 16. Uh, because I'm so my, jealous. Yeah. I know. It's not like a cool story, though. I started because my dad wanted to take a stand-up comedy class from a church comedian, and he wanted to do it together. And I don't even think he thought I was going to be good. He was just like, you can write for me. <laughs> and it was just like a fun thing for us to do dad together. That sounds cool. Before, so wait, you started doing before, it with your dad? I started doing it with my dad. And he would like drive me to gigs and stuff because i started like doing churches and schools and Shut coffee up. shops like anywhere that comedy in what city be. yeah i was gonna say uh i grew up in temecula oh, yeah. and beautiful then, yeah so i was like an hour from san diego so i was yeah. like commuting to san diego that's the what's the casino the, the uh pachanga. 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 pachanga i yeah. bombed there a few times yeah. i've yeah. never performed there haven't been asked yeah and now I won't. <laughs> no, it's great. It is great. great. It's great. Is it great? It is great. They have a beautiful venue. Actually, they have a an, like that. Having played countless casinos, being on that property and like the way they treat you, like as the mm -hmm. act and like the 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 way the hotel is and the properties run and everything, it's fantastic. Did you do the club or the theater? I've done both. Oh, okay. I've done both. <laughs> I started at the club. I've done the theater a few times now. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. But I have to ask you about mm -hmm. church comedy because. That seems like the most awful place, like you said, coffee houses and churches, probably the worst right. places to be funny. Because what the fuck are you going to, what's the joke in church? And, and what do you, you probably what are like, was your first do joke? Do you think Jesus <laughs> would get tired from butt fucking a lot? <laughs> right? Something yeah. like that? Yeah. Can he fit his balls in his Jesus ass? didn't in his have asshole. balls. How, this is, Wait, I will not seen stand this video? for this. Okay. You got it. Did Jesus do this? No, but that. <laughs> The point is, what was your first show? Hold on. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, but what? <laughs> Why you gotta watch? He had his own balls <laughs> in his ass and he shit them I should out. have listened to this show before. Ow. Just to know what to expect. Well, it's Christina's favorite clip. It's Don't my look at me. It's your favorite clip. It's your favorite clip. Well, I just yeah. discovered it today. And, did you see and it though? I, am, did I feel you like see you didn't see happened? it. Do you want to see it again? No. Please, Taylor. Okay. What happens in it? Just tell me. I don't want to look no, at it. He no, has no. his own balls uh -huh. stuffed in his asshole <laughs> and, he, and he pushes them out. This is... But he's really like, Fine. he's got a really nice body. You know what? Hairless. At this point, these are the people who are still making money. So I'm like, I, you know. This I, guy makes a ton of money. I, does he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's got a huge fan base. <laughs> Look how long his balls are. His balls are so long. <laughs> oh, my God. This so is so long. <laughs> Wait, so what's your first church joke? So is it like, um, knock, knock, who's there? Jesus well, when is I dead. <laughs> Nailed to the cross. When I, <laughs> Babe. What? And it's important to remember that and let's all, all bow our heads. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, I started when I was in high school, so I didn't have, I, you know, I wasn't having sex. It's not like I was like, oh, I can't tell my sex jokes. Like, right, I don't that's true. have anything to reference, <laughs> you know? I think because I'm so jaded and dark and I like guys stuffing nuts in their butts uh -huh. that I can't even imagine an act that's not full of filth and smut and butt fucking you there, know what i mean yeah like, no there are some there are some church comics making bank of which is a great <laughs> will you take <laughs> she well, she needs to turn her head at some point <laughs> you take oh that oh off? yeah sorry 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 <laughs> this um, is like <laughs> i feel like i should have said before i come in here like face, oh by the way i don't watch porn <laughs> Yeah, while you bitches are over at your man's place trying to pop pussy and be impressive and let him oh know in your face, getting facials and shit. No, you need to get you some Noxzema. What's this? <laughs> great, Tom. Thank you. Well, you said to change it. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's just got Noxzema on her face? I think what's so. The, what's the rap here? I don't know if there's something else here. Let's see. Get you some authentic apricot scrub. Exfoliate, bitch. Because while you over there popping pussy, now you got to pop some pussy. 
Watch your face. Get with the program, ho. Okay. Exfoliate. I'm going to go order apricot scrub. Right. I like that one. St. Ives. When I get home. Yeah. St. Ives. Um, so do you remember your, what's the first, uh, it's like, hey guys, I just got my period today. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you just start bleeding and you're like, what? <laughs> um, no, I mean, I think I apologized a lot for being young, which, you know, is nothing has changed uh, on that front. But yeah, I remember like I used to open sets when I was in high school with like, I know I'm young and I don't want anyone to be uncomfortable with that. Um, and I know that there are like some generational differences and like just making fun of the fact that I'm like, oh, everyone here saw Titanic in theaters and I saw it on VHS, which means I cried because Leonardo DiCaprio didn't look like it, that anymore. Like not because right. he was dead, like shit like that, right. where I was just like, how do I talk to adults when I am a child and I probably shouldn't be yes. talking right. to this right. many people. <clears throat> Which is so interesting because that, that is what that is. That's such a, a power shift. And I'll, did you know that Amanda Bynes started stand up too as like a young oh, yeah. girl? She was like 12 or something. Yeah. Which yeah. is so, it's so, and she was really good as well. Like well she had her own early. sketch show. It's crazy. Which was like huge when I was a kid. I'm amazed that you started that young. I really am. I always he hear the stories of the comics who started in their teens and i'm like, like bill hicks i'm like this is unbelievable like that that because i think about lo like looking back i go you know I, I think if it had been presented to me in some way that i would have been drawn to it i mean i was living in suburban places where it wasn't even remotely feasible like in small town but i go man the 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 balls and like just the you know having the 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 drive to do that at the age. It's impressive. It really is. Oh, you yeah. know? Oh, thanks. That you're about to be a, t you're 10 years in right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. It's crazy. You know? I mean, and that might be it for me. This is no, like, no you should retire. Why aren't you? Why are you staying <laughs> yeah. in? Well, it's a thing where like, I thought, uh, you know, like I'm sure you did like, okay, I'm going to put out this special and then I'll just go tour really hard and it'll be great. And obviously everything's shutting down. Yeah. You're kind of like, okay. you're, you're going to be, you're going to be great. You're going to be fine. You're be absolutely It'll great. come back eventually. Yeah. yeah. It'll come back eventually. You have to remember that this is just a moment. And the good mm -hmm. news is everybody watching you now can go and watch your Netflix special and fall in love with you the way that I have and Tom has. And you'll have this great fan base when you go back out. So oh, thank don't you. worry. But how'd you get so goddamn business savvy? Like uh, when I was talking to you in the green room, you're 20 years old and you're just so smart. Like when I was 20, what the fuck were you doing at 20? Right? Like I was smoking cigarettes. I was taking LSD. Oh, you were cool? No, like <laughs> you just sound uh, cool. But you she know was, what I mean? She was. I, yeah, she was. I'm not doing. Uh, I wasn't doing anything remotely normal. Did you go to college? I did. I didn't finish. Where'd I went you go? to. I went to Cal uh, Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo for like a quarter, and it's like a beach town. Like, there's nothing to do there except like hike and be pretty and study engineering. And uh, there was nowhere to do stand up really. I know they have that festival there, but I've never done it. Um, and I just was like, oh, I want to do stand up. So I went home and went to community college for like a year and a half, which felt like a huge failure because I was like, I had a 4.1 in high school, like all Jesus. that shit. Wow, you did. Yeah, oh, I was like, I mean, people are like, how do you stay inside and not see anyone for three months? I'm like, I was literally grounded <laughs> every summer for having bees. Like, it, my dad was like, straight A's or nothing. Um, wait, wait, hold on, back up. So your parents, are they like super religious, super strict? Mm -hmm. What What's the religion? Just Christian. Just Christian? Yeah. Like, not like Pentecostal? What is mm -hmm. What does your dad think? Because especially because he did that thing, the... Uh -huh. What does he think now to have you be a successful comedian with a special on that? Like, is he blown away? I, I think he thinks it's cool. You think? I think, yeah. I think they... <laughs> he hasn't said it? He hasn't said it to yeah, you? Yeah, no. I think he's, he said... He called me like the week before and he was like... <laughs> he was like, a lot of people are excited. It's coming out. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like it's you, pretty man? cool he goes no he goes it's really cool he's like you're gonna be on netflix i was like yeah i hope people watch it and he goes oh they will netflix is huge right now and let oh, me tell right you now. why dave Chappelle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh he's got insight yeah i was like i mean hey good for you no how would your parents shows. respond if we called them right now and we said, what do you think is more exhausting? Getting butt fucked for a long time? <laughs> they would or, hang up. Oh, they would? <laughs> or try to save you. I don't know. What would your mom say? Uh, what would your parents say? Uh, we can call them and ask Let's them. Let's ask them. Do you really? 
I'd like. I don't mind. Do you mind? We just take I a quick mind. interlude yeah. into this nonsense. Well, yeah, you can keep talking. <laughs> but let me talk to you some more. So, dad's <laughs> really is. What's mom like? Uh, mom's dead, but my mm. stepmom's really cool. When did your mom die? Uh, when I was eight. Oh, so it's you know, and that's why we're on Netflix, and that's why you're funny. Um, yeah, yeah. And so, how traumatic was that to lose your mom at eight? Oh, uh, not God. very. It was actually like pretty fun. I no I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't super I was like, oh, that's bad. where her darkness is. <laughs> that's where you're, but that, but you know what's really great is that that's where your darkness lies and that's where, it's where your sadness is and that's where you get funny. Right. And it's not good. I'm just saying at least you know, okay, that's my bag of bullshit in this oh, world. Oh, yeah. And when people don't have something traumatic in their childhood, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> I don't trust you. <laughs> like, I, don't I am envious is. of those people. I, I'm envious, and I was like, well, that just means you're not going to be in therapy for a decade like I was to deal with my stuff. But seriously, anyway, I, oh, hold on. Ooh. We got to ask a very. We'll get back this. to your dead mom this in a is, second. This is science. This is important. <laughs> hey, Dad. Hey, buddy. Hey, real quick question. I'm doing a, a thing right now. Yeah. Do you think? What do you uh, think's more tiring? Like if. <laughs> If you get butt fucked for a long time or like vaginally it pounded for a while. Say it again. I, I just had to step out of him. Say oh, it again. Um, I was saying, what do you think's more tiring to get butt fucked for like a long time or vaginally pounded? Oh, back door. Back door is much tougher. Yeah. <laughs> Unanimous. Yeah. Much, much tougher. Yeah. Yeah. So why? You know, you got to worry about, you know, lube, brown town, the whole thing. You know, <laughs> oh, just that's tough. true. Yeah, and do you think it's just like emotionally a little more taxing? Well, if you're a Catholic, it certainly is. Okay. <laughs> um, do you think mom could weigh in on this? I don't think. Uh, this is not a topic that your mother really is up to speed on. Do you think that we could just float it to her, though? <laughs> Uh, yes, you can ask her. Listen, I'm in the middle of a conference call. You can ask your mother this question. Hold is she on. there? Okay, thanks. See, this is the type I of relationship. You just mission in need of a meeting. Hello? Hi, Mom. Hey, Hello? Mom, can I ask you a quick question? Yeah. Okay, what do you think is more exhausting? To have vaginal sex, but like aggressive <laughs> vaginal sex. I don't hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, mom, I need you to weigh in on this. Oh, come no, no, on. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, like, <laughs> half an hour, but like really aggressive. Bang, bang. Like, really aggressive. Or the I same thing, that. but in your culo. Can I like, hang anal please? sex. Do you think anal I sex. Tell me, please. No, I just need okay. to know what you, you know think. What? This is so disrespectful to me. I am going to hang up and I'm mad at you. Okay. This is totally disrespectful. Okay, I love you. No, Bye, mom. That. I love this you, but okay, bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I think she meant it. <laughs> I think she meant it. She sounded like me when you guys played the ball video. <laughs> it's like, what is happening? Uh, Do you think she's sure. really mad at you? Yeah, but I don't care. Yeah, well, you just send her a toy. Let's just send her another yeah. iPad or something. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I'm not worried. At all. What is it like being <laughs> so rich that you don't care if your parents are mad at you? Feels good. <laughs> You're like, I could fix this. Yeah. Oh, I don't think money ever deterred this. I think we were yeah. always this way. Before but now you money. can send them iPads. Now we make it up to her with trinkets. Yeah. Right. <laughs> with iPads. Um, so uh, anyways, I'm glad your dad agrees with me. I think yeah. in the back door too. <laughs> <sighs> but back to Taylor. She got so mad. <laughs> that was great. So mad. Uh. Uh. So eight years old, and what does your mom die of? Uh, cancer. Pretty Fuck. standard. Breast. I mean, pretty standard. I think it like became breast cancer. It was Hodgkin's lymphoma. That's what my mom had. Oh, really? But non-Hodgkin's. So. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Mm -hmm. I think it was. I don't know the difference. Yeah, I don't know. One sucks. Uh, yeah. Both suck. Is yeah. she okay? She's dead. My oh, mom's okay. Dead too. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean, but my mom was crazy, so I know what it's like to grow up without a mother, you yeah. know? And, and I think especially as a as a girl, that fucks you up in a very special way. Yes. How old were you? <laughs> my mom was always mentally ill, so since always. And yeah. then she died when I was... Um, uh, 2015 so oh, okay. just a few years ago yeah but um but yeah and and how so your dad was very strict mm -hmm. and pr was he protective uh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. did you have siblings i have three younger sisters oh three fuck. yeah 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 so they were two four six and eight or and i was eight. Oh. so everybody yeah, yeah disaster yeah. so you're the oldest uh-huh 
And now you've got to help essentially raise your younger sibs, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. Which is an interesting dynamic as we get older where I'm like, I've been helping out. And they're like, you, we don't want you to help raise us. Like, we're adults. And I'm like, yeah. but everyone text me when they get home. And they're like, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> fucking leave yeah. me alone. You're <laughs> fucking 12 yourself. Yeah, exactly. I'm like 12. I'm like, all right, everyone's going to bed at seven. They're like, <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Well, which explains why you would be so mature at such a young age. I mean, that's why when I met you at, you know, nineteen twenty, you were already on it. Yeah, that accelerated you your maturity for sure. Right, yeah, yeah. You had to be. You lost your childhood at like eight. Right. It is, Fuck. though, a little embarrassing to admit that I'm the oldest kid and I still chose uh, this job <laughs> yeah. in entertainment. Like, how much attention do you but need? What are your, okay, yeah. what do your sisters think about their big sis? doing this they the, love it they think yeah. it's great i mean they all came to my special they taping did? yeah yeah yeah. where my, did you shoot uh i've shot it at the aladdin in portland oh that's awesome Wonderful. so good yeah and uh this was like 500 seats my parents have not watched the special uh and but they yeah, have my, not watched it they have not watched it no i didn't know if they had or not and then my stepmom was like we have not watched it and why because uh my dad is not ready for that i guess which i there are jokes about my dad in it that he knows about already so i'm not worried about that like i told him all the jokes beforehand because like my worst fear is that somebody in his office or at church is going to come up and go that one joke about this and butcher it and then he goes my daughter called me a nazi on that right you right. know like something yeah. like right. it gets quoted. butchered so i just told him beforehand and he was like okay thank you i appreciate that and I think I also cushioned it and like, my dad is great, you know? So I yeah. tried to be careful about it. Um, and then- it's really thoughtful. You know, it's, you know, you're, I tried to be. Um, there was a story that I had about my grandma in it that she was like, please don't do that. And I was like, all right, you got it. Like, I'll take it out. Um, so it definitely depends on who it is. I mean, I didn't run certain jokes by, you know, ex-boyfriends or anything. But uh, yeah, with my dad, I was just like, here's a heads up. But I, I, no dad wants to watch their daughter talk about sex or yeah, dating yeah. or anything true. like that. I'm true. like, why? it's not for you. Like you That's wouldn't, true. You wouldn't be a fan of me if I wasn't your daughter. Right. You know, like, would right. it, and would it hurt my feelings if I saw like two you know middle-aged white people from temecula walk out of a show of mine i'd be like nah, i get it like that makes it's sense. not you know right. yeah it's not what i'd want either um how's your stepmom she's a uh, she's good i she's mean okay she's like she's okay no <laughs> they're not great they're no, very hard is. to get a great step parent let's just, be real here's very a hard job to begin with i mean a step parent's first job i think is to be like amazing for your parent who's been alone and she's like she and my dad have the best relationship I've maybe ever seen. Wow. Like they're so compatible. They're so supportive of each other in like a patriotic way where they're just like this, I will live and die for my country no matter what. Like wow. they are on each other's team. Like wow. no matter what. Did she bring kids in as well or no? Oh uh, no, no, she so can't she, have kids. But she went into a, a relationship with somebody who had four kids. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, admirable. Really? Like, yeah. Really. Oh and my God, it's amazing. How old were you when you got her? Uh, nine. Damn. Yeah. yeah, they got married 10 months after. Fuck. It was quick. So was he like, was he seen her, or do you think when no, you no, 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 was no, no, no. Okay. no, they what? met after. No, I mean, it's fair question, but not at all. No, she worked with my grandma, my dad's mom, and she had like heard that. Again, everyone's Christian, so if they hear like somebody uh, struggling, they're like, "Can I donate money to hospital bills?" So that's what she had done. Didn't know our family at wow. all. Wow. Yeah, she's like wow. kind of a great person. And so my dad called her to thank her, and then they started talking, and she's you know, like, got married. That was, was like, it. What's up? What's up? What's yeah. up? Is that what he <laughs> said? Probably. No, I think he like took a minute and was like, "I don't know if I can." Yeah. Da and then they started dating, and you know, when you're religious, that's amazing. Yeah, oh, it really that's is true. And the yeah. religion, there's really no dating. It's like yeah, you're we're in it or we're not. Yeah, we're married, we're not. Oh God! So you get your first period, and it's to your stepmom. I yeah, right? I mean, I told like a nanny, I think that I was yeah. bleeding, and they were like, "All right, here's a pad." Yeah, because I, because uh, my mom was so crazy that I would never share anything mm. with her, actually, or my father. It was always like keeping secrets. So when oh. I got my period, I was like, "Nope." No one's knowing about this. This is my own fucking thing, man. And then I actually, I, my mom did find out and she was like, let me see it. And I was like, oh, bitch, Ugh. no, I won't show you her. see your period? She wanted to see the blood. And, and I was like, no. You Why did she want to see it? Because she was mentally ill and intrusive and weird. Did she think you were lying? 
No, she just wanted to be a part of the fun. I don't know. She was like, I just want to see it. I want to know you, girl. I want to be inside your pussy. (laughs) (laughs) She didn't say that. (laughs) I'm like, she just wanted to be a part of it. I mean, you've never, when you're menstruating, put a bunch of yarn up there and just crochet. You want to know something? (laughs) I think my dad could shit his balls out of his ass. I think your dad could. could. I do Based on how did. quickly he answered your question, <laughs> yeah. there was not a moment's hesitation. He was like, oh, for sure. Yeah, like, for sure. <laughs> and I've seen his balls. Well, his balls are very hangy. You've yeah. both uh, seen top your top dad's balls? Yeah. Yeah. What? In what context? On a cruise. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, that's <laughs> fine. It's true. It was a cruise. If you said anything but cruise, I would have been like, that's not okay. <laughs> yeah. No, we were on a cruise and his dad was in bed and his he always wears his boxers for comfort. Oh. And like he was just he rolled over and I was like Burp. it was just a flash. Oh okay. It was I didn't see anything else. Yeah, but also the way he handled it was odd because I was like, <laughs> hey man, like this is my lady. You think you could? He goes, okay, Sarah, like <laughs> stop being. Why don't you go tell on your mom? I was like, yeah, I shamed you just cover him. your balls. Like it was so unmasculine for Tom to stand up yeah. for my rights to not see <laughs> to not see his balls. Now I've seen them nuts. way too many times. Yeah. yeah. Most recently, it was him <laughs> changing. And like he bent, oh, like I looked over here and he was bending over and it looked like pig nuts. Like they were, like, <laughs> they were so low. I mean, you know, he's 72 or something, yeah. but they were so hangy and dangly. I Why was, is like, he changing in front of you? I don't know. Well, your parents I just like that? walked no. in the room. He was like, hey, you know, oil me up and let me change. And I was like, all right. So he was. Uh, <laughs> Give me a back massage. <laughs> no, he was. He, he just, uh, <laughs> I don't know, he just, ch- I guess I probably just walked in the room while he was changing, you know? And oh, I was okay. Like, yeah. oh. So it's your fault. It's my fault. Oh, okay. Fault. All right. But well, I still noticed that those things were like really. <laughs> should I call him and see? Can, can you think he's you on a conference call? Do you, you think he's still on it? I don't know. Dude, like we could ask him. I'd like, I'd like to know more. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, clearly. Ask him. Let's ask him. You want to see? I want to see if he can shit his own. Well, ball. also, like, mom, <laughs> my mom might get on, and she's so mad. That's kind of funny. Like, what does he do for a living? He's retired now. He was. What's a, he on a conference call with? It's a good question. Oh, I have no knows. idea. I mean, but don't you love? Like, aren't you envious of this relationship he has with his parents that he can call them and? Just I don't want to see my dad's balls. No. But, but you couldn't call no. your dad and be like, "Dad, could you shit your balls out of your?" Butt? Oh yeah, I'm very jealous of that. Yeah. I'm Let's so see. honesty <laughs> and openness. That sounds. Do you have to hide a lot because they're super Christian? Your, your dad and your that's a yes i think i did earlier but i've never really hidden anything but did they know when you started banging and stuff no no so you had to hide it yeah but i moved i waited till i moved out are you super christian do you are no. you a faith yeah no do they know that yeah yeah, yeah. are they okay they know with now no no uh, no they're super oh, yeah, he, yeah. Knows yeah. he, he knows better he knows better yeah knows. you're fucked yeah. um <laughs> Is that hard though? To, 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 that you respect the fact that you tried though, <laughs> that you were like, she's pissed and he's on a conference call, but I think I could get another clip out of these guys. <laughs> do you ever, do you ever just call them and go like, I know this is annoying that I do this, but like I do make so much money. And I no, feel- they assume. They already assume. They ask for things. My mom especially. Oh, asks, yeah? She asks for a lot of stuff. Oh, okay. All right. Regularly. And she's like, you can afford it. I'm like, yeah, you just, what are you doing, though? Like, <laughs> Wait, did you call the house line? No, I called I called his cell phone. They have a house call line? Call your mom. Maybe call your mom yourself. I okay. want to get to the bottom of this now. Well, if you right. really want to piss her off, this is how you're doing it. All right. I, I, I like getting her mad, too. It's fun. Text her okay. that video. That's a good idea. <laughs> Text she's not gonna, I bet you she's definitely not going to answer <laughs> Your call oh, she, yeah, she, she, sent me, <laughs> she sent me to voicemail immediately. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, she's upset. She's yeah, really upset. She's upset. So uh, Here, I'll send her I'll send her go ahead. I'll send her a text. Okay. Like, I'm really sorry. So you're not religious. Uh, <laughs> and your parents they know it. I and think so. Did yeah. you go to Christian schools growing no. up? You weren't thank God. No, we just went to church every weekend. So how did so you practiced in coffee houses and church and then when do you start going to the comedy clubs? Because you can't get in legally until you're eighteen. Yeah, I started going when I was eighteen. Okay. I had never even been to a comedy show until I was eighteen. And then the only comedy show I've ever like paid to go see was I saw like Marin and Maria Bamford at the Ice Aww. House, like right when I turned eighteen. And I'd never been inside a comedy club and I was like oh, this is how it's supposed to sound. Like, this is yeah. how it's supposed to feel and be. And I was like, okay. Because before that, 
I mean, I was coming up in this world where everybody's like, you're going to be so successful as a Christian comic. There's nobody as young as you, like, especially female, like all these things. And they're like, you're going to, you know, was already like getting paid to do stuff. And I was oh, like, wow. maybe I could just stay here. Have you ever thought of, of like, leaning into that lane though like for like for, for the work of it no <laughs> no the exhaustion i on can't her face. Well, like you oh have to God. be they will not i mean i i have a friend who got hired for a church gig who's a great comic and can do an hour clean with his eyes closed and they like the church like found out he was bringing his girlfriend and like fired him like what you, yeah you have to be that all the time you have like, to walk the walk you big really time. really do it's like country music like yeah. if they find out that you're not really that humble pie bullshit, you're out. Yes. Oh, you yeah. want to see some funny shit? Uh, do you follow <laughs> Garth? No. Oh. So. Do you like Garth Brooks? Do you listen to Garth Brooks? I couldn't even tell you what he looks Thank like. Thank God. Oh, that's funny that you say that because we're <laughs> going to examine exactly what he looks like. <laughs> um, he's been doing a bunch of interviews, um, and I don't know if you noticed that. Like he's been doing stuff with uh the full beard that was real dark yeah and he didn't have a good line on that beard but then he's doing i mean he's doing all kinds of stuff but so his social media is odd mm -hmm. like his the way that he runs it i don't know it's just strange and we're always kind of breaking it down but here he's a uh, uh something he did about let's see words with friends he does words with garth oh boy um, hey everybody garth brooks here <laughs> before we even get started yes these are the craziest times i've ever known to exist so people great thing about people is that we're all meant to be together oh, and boy. even in this virus and even with social distancing we're going to find a way to be apart together why is he smiling when he this is him tom this is him this is the worst pandemic the worst time <laughs> i've ever experienced and i wish i was dead but you know what the <laughs> best thing is we're together y'all yeah. y'all need to program me what words to use before i do my video was there a cut in there or was that a glitch? I, I think thought they, it, there I think was a cut. Like, I think they did like a punch in, yeah, for. This is 10 seconds long. You yeah. need to edit? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You now, can't. Twitch Prime and Zynga has come up with this great way to do it oh, in the boy. games that they play. Now, first of all, my wife has all her buddies over every Thursday night for a thing called Wine Down, but she has them over over the internet. On they Zoom. share a bottle of wine. You can hear her. It's called Wine wine Down? Herself, but yeah. you can hear they're talking, even though they're spread out all over the country. <laughs> Moa has her buddy though, and it went. You gotta watch so this document. It's great. Now, this let's is... play a part together, okay? With Zynga and Twitch Prime, that's gonna happen. So here comes Words with Garth. This is gonna be stupid fun. What? Right here. Stupid Why would it be stupid fun? Oh, no. So is he saying he's gonna do shows on Twitch, or he's gonna? He's gonna play words. You're with, gonna. He's gonna play with, words with friends, like yeah, words with fans. It's words with Garth. Yeah. This so is it's like what? stupid fun. <laughs> so it's is it, like, that's just Scrabble, right? Right, but yeah. his words are like murder, This is who you're going to play Scrabble bodies. with? How fucking crazy. And then <laughs> just when you How think different does he look right be here? Oh, yeah. I, I can't believe this is happening. So the drive-in thing. Different. It's over 100,000 cars want to get in this thing. People had five people a car. That's half it's a million gray. people. Are you kidding me? Oh, he's totally a silver dog. Yeah. His hair Here's is totally I'm gray. You, this isn't Ticketmaster. Okay, it isn't like the regular stadium show. This is, a, this is a group called Universal do the drive-in theater. So they're not used to these kind of numbers, and they are processing as fast as they possibly can. If I can use the term assholes and elbows, they are going what? all out. Wait a minute. That's not how you use it. What's assholes and elbows? Is that where you put your face down, ass up? <laughs> That's how we like to fuck <laughs> elbows down, ass up? Is that what that means? That's they're they're butt-fucking their way into this ticket <laughs> stuff. Is that what it is? That's what it meant, yeah. It, so this is a documentary? <sighs> what is, okay, it? You, well, you, what you is know, happening? So are you, um, Who is this? Do you have Netflix? It's a <laughs> streaming platform. So he, he, there's a documentary on there that you should watch. Be prepared to see him cry a lot. Such a sissy. He cries. Everything that he talks about, he cries. Everything. Really? Everything. Yeah. Every song that he ever wrote, talk to every <laughs> memory of a parent, a teacher, a friend, a wife, my kids. Every, he's like, <sighs> like every, and he's like, God damn. like everything. For it's a two part, you know. Each one's like over an hour, just the whole time, just bawling. Uh, it's strange. It's I don't know. It's bizarre. You should but watch please, it. Just be patient. This is going to be a fun night. You he always does that too. Fun. It's going to be a this lot of be, fun. Is this, this clips is be from that? Stuff your family no. in a car. Oh, okay. Bring the food. Everything and have the time of your life kind of fun going to the drive-in. I just love it. I mean, yeah. this just doesn't feel like... I just love it. 
Yeah. 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 Love you guys very much. Again, this. patience, 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 please. And thank you again for always taking care of me. Oh my God. He's going to cry right. He's about to cry right there. <laughs> I mean, they're there playing the movie for everyone in their cars. And it was just beautiful. Looks, <laughs> doesn't he look so. These are. These are uh, the lighting's yeah, the much lighting. better here. Yeah, they're, film, is, they're filmed eight days apart. Yeah, this is not. Hour. You know. Oh, wow. Ooh, yeah, yeah. That's. You know, some of us aren't meant for natural light. Mm. Some of us are strictly studio light people. <laughs> yeah. Well, and also he's very silver. Uh, uh, so I don't know. I also, don't know. let's be honest. The drive-in theater thing, he took that from Bert. That was Bert's uh, idea. Clearly gonna stolen say. from He's Bert. totally, that's stolen valor. Style. He styles like Bert hard. <laughs> Big time. Big time. Theater valor? Let me guess. He's going to bring 30 dogs on stage at his show. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to 69 the canines. In yeah. his defense, eight days during a pandemic might as well be 10 years. Hold on a second. For as aging a person. Wait, how, hold on a second. Uh, Nadav, just, how do you know this? Because uh, it was in one of the announcements that he made about it. He's not going to be physically be at these 300 drive-in theaters all at once on the same night. He's performing in one place. And it's being broadcast to why all Why would you even g- show up to see that? Just watch television. Why would you, why would you do uh, that? I'm honestly, I'm really impressed with this money move. It's really Dude, smart. It's a smart <laughs> money move. By the way, I... Uh, that makes no sense. Why I, wouldn't you just watching watch Watching that documentary, did you, you're definitely too young to remember this, but he played Central Park in like 1997 or something. It's in the documentary. And legitimately, a million people came to it. Oh my wow. gosh. Yeah. A million people were at Central Park to watch him perform. I thought it was one of the craziest things. I was like, Whoa. what? And they were all, I mean, it was just bonkers. It was, <laughs> the footage of it is insane. It's insane. Wow. You know what? I can, I don't know why I'm thinking this right now. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. I just picture him <laughs> taking a shit. Garth. What? I don't know why, but right now I'm picturing Garth taking a shit. Is that your mom? No, she won't write. She's not, she's really mad. Because <laughs> I wrote a nice apology and she didn't write back. Oh, did you call the house? Line? Let me try. Let me try calling her from my cell phone. See if. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him lighten up over this. <laughs> Um, anyways oh um you're dating a comedian i was gonna ask you guys yeah. this question yeah how does it feel um that you two are responsible for so many comedians justifying dating each other <gasps> we is are that, is that true yes. oh my god every time comedians are like we shouldn't date but like tom and christina that wor- that works. Like wow. you don't know that this is a thing. I didn't no, know. you guys I'm are honored. I mean, you shouldn't be you're enabling a lot of people <laughs> to make bad choices. But you're like one of three successful comedy couples. I know. <laughs> and pretty nice. I mean well, it, here's why I how think How long have you and Sam been together? Like ten months, I think. Wow. Since like, since like uh, late September. Mid-September? That's great. And now yeah. you, you're quarantining together, yeah? Or yeah. what's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's that? Is that that can accelerate a relationship or decelerate yeah. the relationship? You know oh my I mean? god, yeah. Well, we were already long distance, so we were oh. already kind of like figuring out like. But okay. now you guys are like that's another level. If you've been staying together. Oh yeah, the now we're no distance. Now yeah. we're just on top of each other all the time. And like the first month, the first like month or two was just kind of like oh my gosh we never see each other this we've never seen anybody we've dated this much this is kind of great we were tired (laughs) like let's hang out and watch movies every night and uh make pasta and then at a certain point you're kind of like Ooh, we have to take turns being depressed because yeah, yeah. if we sync up (laughs) we're gonna fall apart so we kind of just take like shifts or we try to, and then some days it's just like everything's. We don't have identities or jobs, and what do we do? And let's just, you know, <laughs> that's kind of get, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm sure a lot, but like, it's like that for everybody in a relationship right yeah. now. Like in the beginning of this, I was like, oh, worst time to be single, and now people are like, oh my gosh, it is so hard to be in a relationship right now. <laughs> I know. And I'm like, is anyone in a good position during yeah. this? <laughs> I think I always yeah. thought that this this highlighted what your reality is so if you have a good relationship you're like check out how good our relationship is by this Mm. and if you had a bad relationship then like it really you couldn't hide from it anymore right you know yeah definitely especially like in marriages or live in you know living together relationships because if you're 
sharing the space and you have a quarantine going on and you guys don't get along, like it's gonna become pretty obvious pretty quickly. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys, I mean, how long have you guys been married? 39 years. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll be uh, we'll be twelve years married in November. Okay, and you guys like started together, right? Yes. Pretty much comedy yeah. wise, yeah. like you started doing open mics mm -hmm. together. Together, and he was only twenty three, right? And mm -hmm. I was twenty six when we met. Yeah, and then we started dating two years later after we met, yeah. and we got married four years later, right? Something Three or like four that. years later. So yeah, we. So here's I here's the. I think the reason it works, because where, where, mm -hmm. people are like, are you, guys, are you competitive with each other? It's like, mm, not, no, because A, we start together. So it's like, you want to see that buddy in the trenches succeed. You want to mm -hmm. see the people that have worked as hard, like, come up. Mm -hmm. And also, now we're married, so I'm like, those paychecks all go to the same account. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... No, I don't she know. is not shy about shopping. <laughs> <laughs> but I, you know, and I think it's important, especially with comedians, if your neuroses match up, because we're all mm -hmm. fucked up. And yeah. I think Tom and I maybe just got lucky that our set of stuff meshes well together. Mm -hmm. Like our issues are good together. Yeah. So, I can't believe that surprises you, that feedback. No one's ever said that to you guys that you're no. like. The, you're the couple everyone goes well they were right? now are the one person oh, that so. ruins people's lives you're the you're the glimmer of hope <laughs> oh good for people well that's nice that's nice yeah sure <laughs> <laughs> i mean i don't ever want i'd never thought of myself as like you know the example so just, i'm like all right i didn't know <laughs> uh, well i mean not to put too much pressure on you no guys, no but I think you know. it's good. I actually, I mean, look. I really like Sam. I think he's great. Yeah, he's, he's hilarious, great. Dude. Yeah, he's really, really funny. And he's really, really funny. Yeah. yeah. I did Conan with him. Oh, yeah? We did an episode yeah. of Conan together, yeah. He uh, he came out to stand up and I was like, yo, this dude's really funny. I mean, yeah. Well, I will say it helps that both of you are funny. I think if one of you was severely unfunny, I, that's tough. Right. right but it's all subjective i mean it you is know, subjective there are probably people going like what the fuck you're dating i her? guess like i'm sure <laughs> i'm sure fans of his are like she's just trash like i'm you know everyone thinks everyone sucks everyone so. thinks but everyone i think sucks. um i was gonna say is that because tommy and i have been through the trenches together mm -hmm. like we were poor for a long time together long time yeah and we went through so much shit together that i feel like that bond is fucking I don't know. Dude, when I was your age, I was so fucking. I wasn't even as broke as I was going to be yet. <laughs> really? <Yes. laughs> My most broke was still coming. Really? Yeah. Wow. Because at your age, I was. You're 26. Yeah. I, when oh, I was 26, man. I was doing stand up, but I also was working part time in like real jobs. Actually, 26, oh. I might have been full time, and then I went to part time at like 27, and then I was my absolute brokest at probably. 27, 28. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's I might be too. Got I mean. married. Yeah, <laughs> could be. <laughs> that's when you got married? Yeah, we were oh, at our man. brokest. And, um, oh, my God. That's beautiful. I think we had $200, right? It's pretty bad. When we, then we got married. <laughs> and you're like, let's spend 150 on flowers and get uh, married. Yes, yes, yes. I did say it like that. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, they know that, that you're supposed to like also buy a gift for your person oh. you're marrying. Oh, you, uh, you are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like that's like the classy thing. And then I wanted to do it, and uh, I think I had I had to my name eight hundred dollars. Wow! And then I went to b buy her like a piece of jewelry, and the guy was like, "It's seven hundred dollars." And I was like, "Oh, this is not like smart to do this." And I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> I really shouldn't do this. Like, this is an actually reckless, stupid thing." But then I was like, "Yeah, but I I don't want to not have the gift, so I just bought it." You yeah, just did I didn't it? know yeah. that. Yeah, and then I was like, oh, I have, Rudy. here's the thing, I have $100 now. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the best thing, one of my cousins at the wedding was like, oh, I have to make a flight change and I don't have like whatever, like do you have like 100 bucks I can have? <laughs> and I was too embarrassed. So I went oh. to the ATM and withdrew the $100 and gave it to her. Oh my God. So I had $0 and then the next week, I felt like a piece of shit, but I was like, yo, what's up? Can I get that hundred dollars back? <laughs> like texting her. And she was like, yeah. And I was like, have you sent it yet? And she was like, it's on the way. And I was like, okay, cool. Cause I kind of need it. 
she was <laughs> like, all right, man. Like, I didn't want to admit that, you know, yeah. that and I needed a hundred. This is before Venmo. Oh, so yeah. So how do you even oh, is... get yeah, that yeah. $100? Yeah, she mailed it. She it's mailed in the it. post? Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> debt. Like, I was debt. And I, I remember years later, a few years later, I, I told her, I was like, I was like, I was so embarrassed that I hounded you for a hundred dollars. Wow. And she was like, I don't even remember what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, like, thank she, God. I was, I was like, it was embarrassing. You know? Oh my God. But I needed it. I fucking needed that money back. That's <laughs> bullshit that you have to buy the person it's, you're marrying a gift. Like the you rest don't. of my life isn't enough. No, yeah, you don't have to. So but I, you know, once I got it in my head, I couldn't shake it. Right. It was so sweet. And yeah. I still love it. I cherish yeah. it. What did you get him? What did I get you, Beaches? What? A wedding ring. <laughs> <laughs> the woman just, the woman just get the woman gives her body right for babies later right That's i give it. up like then i give up i like you could have gotten something cool to have children <laughs> you could have gotten me something cool just neat. <laughs> you're like i can't like you know i can't hold your uterus like, right it's not I, I a fun toy for when me. i laugh all right wait let's call my, my mom let's see if she destroyed. answers let's my see if she answers because <laughs> i don't think she's gonna answer or if she does she's gonna be really upset Hi, Camille, how you talk to me? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Look, I, I want to apologize. I'm here with a doctor, and we were just talking about it, and uh, it just it was a whole thing. I'm sorry. So I love you. You got to forgive me, okay? Okay, come Okay, I love you. I'll send you a nice gift. Okay. 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 All right. Bye. Oh, she's crying. And that was oh, it. That yeah, was she's crying? She's crying. Yeah, I can tell she's crying. Now do you feel bad? I mean, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want her to be like that fucking Why sad would she over cry it. about that? I um, I don't know. She's probably having a sensitive day. And then I was like, do you like to get butt fucks? And then, yeah. <laughs> Pushed her over the edge. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably set her over. I'm, I'm going to yeah. send my parents clips of this podcast and go, you don't even know how lucky you are. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that all I do is talk about having sex sometimes. <laughs> I'll, I'll send her something real nice. It'll make up for oh, her. Oh, yeah. I, she's, it, it, it's an easy formula with her. It what is are you going to send her? Formula. I'll send her like a like a some fucking gucci bag let's get her handbag okay. yeah we'll get her handbag and then she'll be like this is nice <laughs> you can call me and ask me butt fuck anytime <laughs> so predictable yeah. Yeah, oh my is. gosh it's so true yeah it's fine yeah what kind of dumps does garth take though what kind of dumps can we do the brown talk theme song Okay. It's been a while, and I have a brown update, by the way. Okay. All <laughs> Next stop, <laughs> brown talk. <laughs> brown talk coming up. All right. You've been warned. This is what she requested. <laughs> it's been a long time since we played that to warn people. Now, are you and Sam on an open door policy with the bathroom? What yeah. are you doing? Wow. Yeah, we are. I, I don't think I shit with the door open just no. because it's like, yeah. I don't know. Savage. But it's just, it's not like I'm embarrassed to have him see me shit. I just think that's my time. Yeah. yeah. He leaves the door open for whatever. And I don't even feel like it's uh, a reflection of how he feels about me and like safe and, you know, safe and intimate with me. I think it's just probably he doesn't care. I've never been open door policy with anybody. Like I was with engaged. Dumps? Yeah. I was like engaged to somebody and like, he had never seen me pee. You were engaged? I was engaged last year, yeah. Last what? year? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. I was engaged for a little bit. To a comedian or a civilian? No, no, no. no. He like is kind of in this world, but uh, is not a comedian. Wow. But yeah, we were engaged and broke up uh, over the summer. Like I got engaged, found out I got the Netflix special, called off my engagement while I was getting ready for the Netflix special. Oh. Wow. It was a lot. It's a lot to meantime. go through. Yeah. Well, the hour changed a lot. <laughs> oh, really? As you really? can probably imagine. Oh, yeah. And like, thank God, because how annoying would it have been to watch a special that started with some 26-year-old white girl going, I just got engaged, and yeah. this yeah. is what's weird about it. Like, it's so much more fun to watch someone go like, I'm a dipshit, and I thought... <laughs> I was ready to get married and I wasn't. So that's yeah, wow. yeah. It's it's way better for like the masses to see that too, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm -hmm. We um, want to be broad. Appeal. Do you guys maintain a relationship at all or no? Uh, me We're, and my ex. Yeah. No, 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 no. not at all. Not I at all. my assumption is we will never speak again. But oh. I don't know. Okay. I mean, yeah. Why, why was it broken off? You broke it off, or he broke it off? Uh, I broke off the engagement, and then we were in therapy for a couple months, and then it just got to a point where we were like, 
this is not working and yeah. it's not gonna work and what was wrong what was it I mean, it's a lot of stuff. I mean, I don't want to get into it because I feel bad that he, like, he probably got, I assume, got messages because we were, I was like public about being with him because I was like, we're engaged, we're going to get married. And I'm, I don't know if he got messages or anything when the special came out or whatever. Um, because if you like Google it, you can see there's stuff that you can find him. Um, so I don't know. I, I hope. That, like I, I can't imagine breaking up with somebody and then having them like put out uh, an hour of stand up a couple months later. Um, Does they're cheating? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's it's a yes. He I don't know. Yeah, I don't a know. Scumbag. Fuck no, him. I really, <laughs> I really don't know. It's a you don't know. Okay, so that's even that's even weirder. So that means weird stuff. It's you know. I mean, if you heard again, if you heard my side, you'd be like, oh, he was in the wrong. If you heard his side, you'd be like, she's mentally ill. Like yeah. you know what I I'm mean. I'm gonna side with him, by <laughs> the way. Just to be <laughs> clear, you get we each get we each get one. Right. You have your ally. I am his. <laughs> Here's here's what I learned from that breakup is like, okay, no matter what anybody does to hurt you, you don't get to like stay and punish them for it and just uh, be mad. Like smart. if you're going to break up, if you have like a boundary that you're like, okay, if this happens, I am leaving and this is not working for me. And then you just don't leave. You yeah, just like that's good. get yeah. mad and crazy and spend like w basically waste someone's time. Like, you know, whatever, trying to fix it when you've already said like, this is something I can't get past. And you know, that's that. so true. So like, that's, that's what I feel guilty about. And also like, you know, I yeah, wasn't, but that's a very evolved, very loving on your part. <sighs> I mean, I'm, you know, again, very mature. You're like a 50 year old woman in a 26 year old woman's body. Do you know that <laughs> you're, you're more mature than I am. I, I would argue. Oh, that's, that's, that goes without saying. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I could have told you that right away. Yeah, you're very put together. I want together you to know something because I know how this can I'm be dressed like Rainbow Bright. I know how this can be drawn up. Shitting out the balls for you, that was her. That was me. <laughs> Butt fucking till exhaustion, that's her. That was okay? Me. Sorry. Don't leave your being like, oh, Segura's a real per Yeah, no, I don't me. think that was your idea in today's yeah. climate. No. <laughs> I'm like, no. that was probably. This crazy. is my idea, okay? We got this uh, chubby little fuck face <laughs> trying to tell me that i'm being violent there is no violence screaming is not violent violence you fuck time was what i experienced that st paul's hospital you stupid fuck tart what? <laughs> have you heard that word fucked hard uh when i was young yeah. yeah i feel like that was like a middle school word yes yeah it's really you ever hear we need to bring it back i'm with you <laughs> me too i am with you that i don't want any part of middle school ever again on one woman you fucked hard <laughs> you stupid fucked hard you're going on fucking youtube for a big stupid fuck what did they do get back in your ambulance let me ask you something ambulance who cares, okay? <laughs> this lady is what we live for. Yeah. A public freak out, <laughs> uh, verbally berating somebody for <laughs> seemingly no reason. That's what this show is about, <laughs> all right? So if you want to get on <laughs> our channel, send stuff like that. Yeah. So this, what's crazy to me about clips like this is uh, people use this language and in a video they took and they put the video up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like a lot of people have videos of them speaking like this put up on the internet and are like, oh no, my life's ruined. This person <laughs> di made this themselves, uploaded it and was like, yeah, this Good is idea. what I want to put out <laughs> into the world. Yep. This is me. Yeah. This, this is, is what I'm about. <laughs> this, this is what I stand for. <laughs> like, cool. I don't understand what they were doing. Just being rad. <laughs> Wait, here's the thing, guys. I didn't even get to... <sighs> tailbone hurts i didn't get to my brown talk oh you didn't no i <laughs> what is what happened <laughs> is this just you describing your shit no it's oh, much okay. deeper than that <laughs> oh taylor i'm so the thing sorry. is that sound could have been me this morning really because i've discovered this is the second time this has happened when i eat cream of wheat uh-huh oh my god yeah. i get diarrhea uh. like immediately afterward yeah i mean who knew what? that You're two for two now Cream of wheat could give somebody diarrhea. Can I tell you what I would do? Yeah. I <laughs> would eat that 100 more times Until and see if there's really definitive proof that it's giving me diarrhea. That's how I operate. <laughs> if I eat something a few times and it gives me diarrhea, I'm like, 
I'm going to eat this a bunch Again. more and <laughs> make sure that this is what's happening. Yeah. And that's what I would do I know. You. That's what you've been doing for a long time. I would eat time. cream of wheat for the next <laughs> month and a half every day. <laughs> and if it gives you diarrhea every day, you know it's the cream of wheat. <laughs> it's now, who's good, smart and who's good not Good detective smart? work. Okay. That is good detective work. Thank you. Thank you. But I'm so bummed because I really what is what even what's in cream of wheat? I don't who know. loves cream of wheat? I Your grandfather? Do. Yeah, look at is. it. I know, but I love it. Like you're I gonna show a picture it like, of it, thinking that's gonna <gasps> convince me. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, look though, it's aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's mush. Okay, it's a cream of wheat is a brand of farina, a type of breakfast porridge made from wheat semolina. It looks similar to grits, so it's smoother in texture. It's made with ground wheat kernels instead of ground corn. Dude, I love this shit so much. It's so creamy and good. And I have no, I guess because it's just liquid wheat, it's like fibrous and it's warm. And I'm guessing it makes me shit. Yeah. Why? I just love it and I'm so sad. Why can't you eat oatmeal? I do eat oatmeal too. But you prefer cream of wheat? I prefer cream of wheat. I know. All your emotions have been on point today. Thank you. <laughs> Everything you've done. I, d I don't. I don't think I've ever met anybody who was like, "I love cream of wheat." Well, yeah, because well, they're usually seniors, right? Are, are <laughs> People without teeth. Yeah. I I live for it. Wait, do you I'm remember so the first sad. time you had it? I didn't even it? know it was in the house. <laughs> well, here's the diff. I used to eat malto meal growing up. Malto meal. What is that? Mush, same thing. I like mushy, cold things. She's mushy, got such a weird palate. I dude. love oh. mushy shit. She I, likes when it's so good food that there's there's cold food and there's hot food. But you know the food that you like hot. Yeah. She'll be like, let's like wait it. till it gets cold and then I'll eat. Really? It. Yeah. All with kinds. everything. Mostly, I don't, there's very few things I like hot, except like a hot. I'm beverage. like, hey, your uh, eggs are getting cold. That's fine. And then they're cold. She's like, mm -hmm, eats. I'm like, oh. You eat cold eggs? Yeah. Do you prefer cold eggs? Yeah, I hate them hot. Are you hate. still in therapy? <laughs> keep going, keep going. Keep or do going. you feel like it's like better now? Keep or? going. Let me ask you this one, Taylor. Okay. You seem like a reasonable person. You ever do your resting heart rate to see how fit you are? You like you compare your resting heart rate? Do you no, ever do I that like a Fitbit that. thing? Okay, I don't have a Fitbit. So our friends and I were sitting around and we were comparing resting heart rate numbers. It's in mm -hmm. the lower the number, it means the more healthy and fit you the stronger are. Stronger your heart. The stronger is. your heart is. Being married sounds fun. <laughs> this is. We were sitting around with some of our friends comparing heart rates. And <laughs> to be um, fair, we were sitting around with doctors. Okay, all right. Doctors. <laughs> Buckle up. It's fun being married. So. Wait until you watch 90 Day Fiance before the Already days. watched it. Oh, okay. I already yeah. watched like the first couple episodes. Okay. So, the, but that's married fun. So, now you guys are okay. already in your married fun. Anyway, the point is we were comparing heart rates. Uh -huh. I had the highest. I'm not, I'm, so I'm not the healthiest hearts. The doctors were low. This one goes, oh, I'm the lowest heart rate. And he brags about it's his always number. Been that way. It's always but been. But here's that way. the deal it's always been that way because of some kind of genetic defect. In his heart or in his whatever we DNA. We just covered this. It is a defective problem. It's not defective. It's not through <laughs> fitness. It's just because his natural resting heart rate is naturally low. Uh -huh. I'm saying it's stolen valor. <laughs> it's stolen resting heart rate valor. Do you know what I'm saying? He's taking credit for something that is not right yeah yeah yeah. it's like women it. yeah it's like women are like oh you have great skin and they're like oh my god thank you and it's like what do you do they're like i just don't wash my face and right. it's like so you didn't do anything to earn oh, that. but maybe That's you right. did maybe you did <laughs> maybe these clowns that are washing their face where's every the day don't mic? deserve nice the skin where's the fart mic okay it's not here <laughs> have one. Oh, have some respect <laughs> for your guests does it have anything to do with like stress like, are you just no 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 the no. resting heart rate no my my resting heart rate has always been abnormally low i went and i had a battery of tests run and at the end of the conclusion in the twenty five thousand dollars worth of tests they were like you got a pretty strong heart and i was like cool <laughs> so, really yeah yeah wow yeah. so he's yeah. just they were just like you're you have an effective strong heart that but that's it. what i'm that's saying amazing. he did yeah. not earn it so would you agree with me that this is stolen valor have any of us earned anything <laughs> thank you yeah taylor. i mean thank you taylor. any of our genetic thank gifts thank you taylor <laughs> what is like, <laughs> what is this <laughs> what's uh, happening does that have a number three in front of it yes i don't like oh. this one it's too squishy what is that uh, that is a lady who has uh, an entire fist inside of her. In her oh. vagina or her butt? Mm -hmm. From that website? Yeah. 
And the next clip is the same thing, but two fists. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, let's hear the next clip then. What does two sound like? Uh, one is pretty gnarly. <laughs> Sounds the same as one. Okay. Should we call my mom back? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. This, Thank you. I, this, I don't watch porn because I can't even listen to it. Like, I get, like, what's happening? That's a private moment between. You don't watch porn. I don't watch porn, though. No. Well, we've got a bunch of clips to show you. <laughs> what are you What are you doing? Well, welcome. I, you should have said this at the top of the show. We've got a, a whole thing, a library to show you. <laughs> do you want to, before we wrap up, do you want to show Taylor some of your talks? Yeah, but I want her to see pornography. I don't want to show her pornography. Oh, okay. She's next a sweet time, girl. next time you come back and okay. I'll, we'll show you pornography. Okay, okay. All right. I just need to emotionally prepare myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll come back. Beforehand. You'll fist yourself. The old one. Let's TikTok. No, nah. nah, I'll just show you TikToks. Do you, are you on batch? the talk? I'm on TikTok. I, I mean, technically, I am. I don't run my TikTok. Okay. Someone else runs it for me because wow. I was like, I th- we hired some people and they were like, you need a TikTok, and I was like, I would rather kill myself, and they were I like, know. we'll we'll do it. I think I mean, let <sighs> me let me check how many followers I have on TikTok now, because again, I don't. Do you know that Christina is the unofficial official curator of talks? You Are you? That? This yeah. is gonna oh, this oh. is gonna play if I don't. Oh wow, they're doing pretty well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have like. We're like at 667,000. Oh, almost 690,000. What? That's the thing I have the most followers on. On TikTok? Yeah, and I don't touch it. <laughs> you don't use it? No, they just post like stand-up clips of mine. Like they just are like, hey, do you want us to post this today? Who like, says sure. that? Oh, the, yeah. well, CrowdSurf. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, What's the name of this? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> they work with Bird too. Yeah, they it's work with Bird. social media mm-hmm. oh. team. Oh, wow. That, mm-hmm. Like they know how to do it. Don't, I don't. That's from nothing in the last three months. Well, why don't you out. give uh, Taylor an idea? Like, so, because so, I think Taylor's probably a normal, well adjusted person who might be like, oh, cool. I like looking at some cool TikTok. Gotcha. Show her what you, tell her what you do. I like to showcase the outliers of TikTok, <laughs> the marginalized people, the people without a voice, if you will. Oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. You're a hero. Yeah. Thank you. That's a good way to. <laughs> yep. I've definitely seen you post them on Instagram. Yeah. And at first I didn't realize they weren't yours. Mm. I didn't realize you were just like a, a, like a connoisseur. She's yeah. like a yeah. congresswoman from like an underrepresented area. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm fighting for these people to have the same rights. That That's you right. Have. That's I like that same. framing. I'm a curator. So, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Tom, I mean, will you translate? Yeah. He was like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Look what this asshole's doing. <laughs> fuck. Ah. Yeah. This isn't even a TikTok. <laughs> Look what this well, fucking asshole's doing. Taylor. Look. He's breaking a bridge. <laughs> this is just footage of a tragedy. This yes. isn't a t- fun but dance. It's like now you're getting Now you're in Christina's oh, head. Oh, I see. You want to... <laughs> Yes. You want to exactly. highlight the disaster realm Thank you. of TikTok. You're like, all these hot girls dancing. You know what's interesting? Yep. I knew how you would see this. And I <laughs> had her give you an idea. And then you still were like, where's the fun dance? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yeah. You I got to stop thinking normal, sweetie. You got to go with me. Okay. All right. <laughs> Right. It made That's the laugh. whole video? That's it. That was a good one. <laughs> Why don't you describe it to our listeners? Uh, Bre- you know, you? Brittany Furlong. Do you want to? Well, yeah. Brittany Furlong says that I curate dark talks. Dark talks. She says, yeah. I'm How would you describe dark. that talk? This is, this is just animal abuse. This is just like, what are we? I- An older Persian man is sitting on his couch. <laughs> his leather couch. Eating some bread. And the cat came up and tried to take it. <laughs> and then he got really upset. <laughs> he said something in front They don't even put like a <laughs> caption on this? No, that's To what, explain? But this is why it's so funny. This is Christina's. And also, this reminds me. If you grew up immigrant, this is everybody's immigrant fucking dad or granddad. Oh, or gran- This is an immigrant talk. This yeah. is like 
foreign talk, right? Foreign Nadav, talks, like, yeah. wouldn't your fucking Israeli granddad do some shit like that? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's for foreigners. Oh, it's obviously okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if something's bothering you, just throw a hand up. <laughs> yeah. That's how I felt I watching... Just for a 300-pound ugly white girl, I would fight in the front lines the bloodiest battle the world has ever seen and come back with no limbs if it meant that that would guarantee me an ugly fat chick for life. Now, um, this is from that incel doc I was asking about earlier. There's a documentary about incels. I was about to clip. say, this guy's going to shoot somebody yeah like, this is yeah. you feel good now you feel good <laughs> i mean now you're in christina's headspace like if this guy were in the theater when i went to see joker yeah. i yeah. would have left turn around and walk away yeah yep. yeah but um what but, was he saying if, if he would go ahead he and play fight it again. to the death listen. to keep a 300 pound listen yeah listen i would do anything just for a 300 pound ugly white girl i would fight i feel like it's front lines you don't need to say anything about ever seen her being and ugly like it's like he's no trying to be like look how much of a hero i am like if anybody exactly was like if i if anyone was just like i would lose all my limbs to get a girlfriend i'd still be worried about that person yeah and then he's adding like insults on top of it where he's like i'd do anything for an ugly chick and you're like what what is this like are you insinuating implying that this man is not well adjusted the guy in this i clip? mean hot take <laughs> he seems like a catch <laughs> If you're looking for oh love, it might be at they, Oh No Tuxedo Mask. This is a documentary? Yes, it's a doc, that documentary. I, I put a, It's supposed to be about incels and these guys that are just w woman haters, crazies. He doesn't late. hate women. He'd do anything for us. That's true. Well, that this even one, if we were ugly. But but sometimes the desperation gets so much that they it turns to hate because they can't. Oh, They're right, so right. angry that they can't get laid or whatever. I don't know, that's why I got to see the documentary. I must under... I it's... protest face coverings. I am a healthy American. <laughs> I used to be free. I am not a terrorist. Is I that a picture of a terrorist? I am not Antifa. Yeah. Yeah, it's Antifa. I am not oh. a sex slave that wears masks. I a am sex not into slave? sadomasochism and bondage. I what? am not a burglar. I... I'm not a pandering politician like we see here and here and here and here. I turn the page. Am a proud Trump Republican? <laughs> Trump Republican. Oh, I couldn't tell. I'm glad she held up the sign. Again. Shame on all of you. Let liberty ring. <laughs> she brought a God fucking bell? Bless America. Oh, wow. Land that I this reminds me of the people that made the commercial that we watched earlier. Yeah. How do you guys feel about the mask stuff? I mean, the mask stuff is pretty... It's actually... I don't know why there's any actual debate. It seems pretty clear cut. <laughs> it yeah, does, it's right? It's yeah. pretty okay with me. I mean, the, <laughs> yeah. the, all the... Like, if you listen to the... Not like your friend's gut telling him, right. but like the medical experts say, if you're going to be in an enclosed space close to other people a mask is helpful and yes. it can help prevent the spread. It can help prevent you getting sick. Yeah. Uh, you don't need, you don't need an, a mask in open air. Right. You don't need a mask to take a walk down the street. Mm -hmm. You don't need a mask when you drive your car. Right. Um, but if you're going to be indoors around other people, it can help prevent the spread. Right. And that's what, you know, if you're riding the subway in New York and Tokyo, yeah, whatever, it's a no you should burner. wear a mask. Yeah, I you know, I can't believe you shouldn't wear a hand knitted mask, right? Uh, or like should you know, wear a hand knitted anything. Yeah, you should wear that's like a, a that's real a gift mask. you don't want. <laughs> that's it. That's yeah. what it seems like. I I'm waiting for someone to like make masks hot. Like yeah, I, like Margot Robbie like comes out oh, with yeah. like a She's mask so line. I feel like more people might get on board. It's like yeah. it's insane to me that people are so mad at the mask. I know. I masks. think they're mad at everything else though. And a mask yeah. feels like a target. Oh, hold on. You know what I, I mean? Guess. He's like, Googling. Hadov is Googling. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's are these cool. hot girls wearing masks? Yeah, but see, this needs Look to be... Look at all these fashionable masks. Yeah, there, there's cute masks now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was looking at like satin ones the other day and like pastel colors. Oh. I was like, ooh, look at this. Like, there, you can, you can get hot with it. There's yeah. people probably who are really bummed out that 
they'll have to take their masks off because that's when they look their best, you know, yeah. with their mask on. Oh my God. Like yeah. covering up their grill and everything. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. I don't understand wh- why everyone's so like, no, it's silly. I hate wearing, it's like they're not, it's not a big deal. It's, it's not a really denial not a of, big your, deal. of your rights as an American. But it's that's the thing is what I'm saying. Sanitary. I don't think people are as mad at masks yeah. as they are at everything else. Yeah. And the mask seems like a great target because yeah. you go like, I'm home. Maybe I'm not working. Or now I'm unemployed. I, I'm frustrated. I haven't left my house a lot. I, all this shit is, is happening in the world and there's protests and everything. And it's like, what can you rail about? What can you like express right. your frustration? at? like these stupid fucking masks because it also is annoying, right? To a degree, it's annoying. Like yeah, people get frustrated. I, I've walked into a, a store where they're like, we don't serve people with ma- who don't have masks on. To me, I go like, oh yeah. And I grab my mask and put it on. Yeah. But if you're having a bad day and it's at the end of a bad week and it's been a bad month, that moment can also make you go, this is fucking stupid. Oh, if you wear it, you know what I mean? Like yeah. people I think are just frustrated in general right now. Right. And Would you do a comedy show for an audience wearing masks? I don't yeah. care. I don't care either. Yeah. And like, that seems to be like not a thing that anyone wants to do. It doesn't bother me if, if they all have masks on. I'll, t- I'll say that. Me yeah. neither. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, bother yeah. me either. And But then how are they sell drinks and um, food? Yeah. Because the problem is that comedy club is a restaurant with a um, dancing chimp up there. That's true. That's all it that's is. All, that's it's them. not, I don't know. they'd have to lose money on booze. I don't anyway. care if everyone has masks on. I just want it to be white people. You I know, know. Just I know. Just like a room Cisgendered, full of nice, able-bodied. white people who we all see things the same. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's how you find your partner for <sighs> life. You have to see eye to eye on shit. <laughs> Learn English if you're going to live here. Shit like that. You know? Do I have any more talks? I feel like I've, uh, well, there's just, a there's another batch of old talks. It says, "Can we just do a little bit?" I get Jesus, so excited. I feel yeah. like Taylor like wants to go. She doesn't want to go. I don't. I don't want to go. I just. <laughs> I wish I could, but I don't. <laughs> like. I'm, All right, three more talks. You <laughs> three ready? more talks. Three, three more, more talks. Ones. I love it. Right. I got. You think I have anything else to do? Hello. Uh, this goes out to Terminator. A, a certain person. Is this Schwarzenegger. Um, <laughs> Nina <laughs> Dallin. Um, you're awesome. We all love you, baby thing is is this what Gemini bad one two three is doing is illegal she is harassing and bullying somebody with disabilities and pushing those disabilities to over the edge if you ever want a witness get in contact with me Dra- uh, Dragon Queen 45 we've seen this all go down I will I will personally either make a um, verbal <laughs> statement written statement whatever type of statement that what the fuck am i watching <laughs> yeah christina by the way this is who should be eating cream of wheat that's who that's for dude that one lucky one on the bottom it has that survived one everything one lucky one? it survived everything he's been through it's still there <laughs> that tooth is like i've fucking seen shit i've, seen some shit. You I've been with, I've been with daryl through everything <laughs> <laughs> it, this this, uh, this is it, it looks like the like Schwarzenegger's yeah. original I, termi- like Terminator character, right? That's the right? goal. Yeah. He's trying to look tough. The leather he's and the threat. Guy. He's issuing threats. And so what, what's, what, what's he talking it's, about? It's it's TikTok beef. It's nonsense. Oh, okay. it's him. I'm added another TikTok. Yeah, it's like you said something to Cheryl one seven five, and I'm gonna stand up for it's nonsense. It's TikTok beef. Okay. Wow. Let's, let's TikTok jump to the next one. Beef. Yo, put that hundred stacks away. I gotta address right, these right, haters. Right. Look, oh. look, y'all was <laughs> hating, bro. We we capitalize on huh? your hate. We got huh? dough. We got the deal. Look yeah. at the whip we're in. Look Look at this baby. Think Look, I just new. want y'all to know. I just want you to know, Brand fresh new. off the line, I just want you to know, everybody that was hating, I'm going to take your mom to a real we nice house. Milfs. We're going to take your sister. Milfs, we're going to drive spew. your sister. We're buying Dang. all your moms, bro. It's fucking war rack. That's we're right. doing this. We're taking over fucking war America. Rack. It's my motherland. We're ah. doing this. Because remember these faces. When I got your mom eating dinner at my table. Mm. When I got your sister driving in a nice car. She's going to be FaceTiming on her Insta. Look, I'm with Malibu. I'm with... Hilarious that they're not saying anything about, like, fucking your mom. They're just like, I'm going to treat your mom yeah, so, so well. well. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna drive her to a nice house. I'm going to let her FaceTime her I gotta son. Tell you, so that's funny. such good insight that's because such a it kind of changes the way you could, like, talk... Sh- <laughs> like, this opened my... As douchey as these guys are, yeah, the next time true. I yeah. argue with someone, I'm going to be like, I'm going to treat your mom so well. <laughs> Make your mom fall in love with me. I'll take her on yeah. vacation. Which is even Has your mom ever been to Rome? Yeah. 
seen Buy all her the some artifacts. Buy Gucci bags yeah. and shit. Yeah, because it's more of an insult her. that you're actually going to court your mom yeah. and he's going to woo and wine and dine her and she's going to fall in love with me. Yeah. That's right. even better than I'm going to fuck your mom. Yeah, I know. Wow. I'm yeah. going to call your mom this and new generation. ask your mom if she wants to get butt fucked for hours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get tested before I make love to your mom. Right. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so I was chilling with the blue avions today and they told me, remind the humans that we're here. The blue avions are around a ninth to a 11th dimensional light being and they're here to help us heal the body. So do you think you're going to view TikTok differently after this experience? Or? I haven't seen any of this. Yeah. I've, I've seen like very helpful TikTok. Like oh. the few times I've been on TikTok, I do like that one sound that's like the song like you can really dance and people have their i don't like that's my least favorite i think it's it goes, so funny wow you can really dance i don't know why it made me laugh yeah. so hard and then the other person well goes, adjusted wow. i don't know no it was dumb like and they i saw one where somebody was dressed like shrek with like their uh their like hoodie pulled over their legs and they were just like going back and forth and i showed it to sam and he just like he was so condescending and mean about me being on tiktok that it became a whole fight <laughs> till like four in the morning and i was like why did we even start fighting he's like because you were watching tiktok and i said <laughs> are you high and you got mad at me even though you were high <laughs> oh tom doesn't like it when uh, i ask him if he's high it's i mean it just feels like dismissive I'm like, no, this is actually what I connect to. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> oh. you, Sam needs to lighten up because <laughs> TikTok is a good time. And you know what? The older you get, the less fucks you give. And they're like, yeah, but she's I'm talking about, about, you understand that she's talking about like nice, fun talks. She's yeah, not in I your am. world of the deeply disturbed. The dark talks. The dark talks. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you guys find me. Eating pussy is a lot like eating chicken wings. If it ain't all over your face and you ain't sucking your fingers clean, you're doing it wrong. Okay. How gross is that one? How much of a cool guy? Play, it's a cool guy. Riff. Yeah, he's very cool. I I'm mean, if a hot, if, but here's the thing. If a hot guy said that, everyone would be like, yeah. yeah. You think so? Wait, yeah. are you saying that guy's not hot? That's exactly what I'm saying. Oh. Uh, yeah, no, if, if like a hot dude was like, here's how you should go down on a woman. That's you should true. Like, like that yeah, would be completely different. True. And there's so many hot dudes on TikTok that yeah, are like, I, don't, I, don't I saw a TikTok that was just these two, I think they were twin brothers. They were like just so hot. And I guess they do TikTok. And they, they did a video where their dad is sitting in between them with like a bag over his head. And they just went, everyone's been wanting to, they wrote on the screen, like everyone's been asking to see what our dad looks like here he is and then they just like unveiled their dad who's also hot and that was the whole video <laughs> millions millions perfect. of likes That's well perfect. she's right about that but i don't like those people <laughs> um okay All right. so we have to direct people to if you have not yet seen quarter life crisis it's on netflix right now uh in the year 2023 you can catch her live uh -huh. on tour mm -hmm. it's taylor tomlinson uh anything else to plug any um Thing you want to direct people towards? I, that's mainly what Your she butt. said. My butt. Oh, <laughs> god damn it! Um, How is she more mature. Than it's us? hard to pull up out of uh, direct people to your butt to yes. like. <laughs> anyway, so my Sorry. podcast. Yeah, yeah. Tell um, us about your podcast. <laughs> Seriously. No, I mean, I Sam and I started doing a movie podcast called This Is Important to Me. I've been doing self helpless for a couple years, so we're doing that too. But you know right That's great it's yeah we're doing stuff i mean at taylor tomlinson on everything uh unless i quit twitter which i might like we're just mm. that's where i'm at now where i'm just like what what do i have to be on and oh, no. how do i not be and it on would be anything? fun to shake a, a platform that you're like do i have to be on this one too you yeah i mean like just drop one It'd be wouldn't fun. it wouldn't yes. that be good it would it would just commit to one hard yeah i know um it's super annoying. No, but it really is. Uh, congratulations on all your success. It is oh, super admirable, you. like to to like to watch. So it's like it's a mind blowing start as a teen and uh, and achieve what you've achieved. I think it's amazing. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Very funny and and yes, guys, stick with her when she comes to town. Go see her when she comes to your town. Absolutely. Eventually. Thank you. The great Fart Simpson, aka DJ Skull Vomit, um, <laughs> created this song. RPC only fans banger. So it's gonna take us out. Hope you enjoy it and see you next week. Big black hawks, big black fucking cocks, big, big, big black hawks. Rape is hard dick, baby. Big, 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 big black hawks, big black fucking cock, big black hawks. Come fuck me, motherfucker. Ride my ass like a horse, yeah.
Yeah. Yes, you wanna fuck me? I wanna fuck you. We're gonna fuck you up. Right. Ride my ass like a horse. Yeah. We gonna fuck the nasty. Oh, yeah. Let's fuck. Oh, you like this, huh? Yeah. You like the fuck on my face, man? Cock sucker, cowboy, motherfucker. Got that with my fucking whole boy. Motherfucker's hot, man. Ah. Oh, oh, yeah. Go team, go, man. Use this fucking hoe, man. Ha, ah, ah, ha, yeah. What the fuck? Let's fuck, baby. Uh, uh, officer, come dump here, man. Spray paint my fucking body, man. Fucking fuck it up, man. Give, give me a come, boy. This man, ooh, this man, ooh. This fucking goddamn dick, man. Yeah. Hello? Hey. What's up? Yo, Josh. Who's this? We're on Pop Champagne. You want to pop champagne? Yeah. Call you Mr. Noodle, Mr. Noodle Man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm tear those tits off, man. Yeah. Burning my tits. What about your tits? Smoking, stroking, man. I'm going to burn my tits, man. I'm a real man. I can take it. That's good. good. Whatever brings you joy, you know? Shut the fuck up, man. I come to fuck that fucking hole, man. I want you to piss on me. I want you to piss. I want you to puke on me. You want to sit, you want to shit, shit in my chest and jerk me up with your shit? What? Motherfucker, licking your nuts, licking your sacks. You want to milk my dick? How big's your dick? Um, um, I'm going to come. <laughs> yeah. Go team, go. Okay, bye. I'm going to come. I'm going to come. Ah, ah, ah. Hi, thank you for watching that episode of Your Mom's House. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more, you can click on any of these videos in this general area. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please do. It helps feed our cats. Don't have any cats. <laughs>